I was gonna oh, man, you gotta, you gotta pony up the dough for that, buddy. It says we live, y'all. I guess Let's I'm see never if we are. <laughs> y'all see me, hear me? I had a few people in the chat box there before we went live. We got Chunky Cats in there, Gil Rainicky, Cody Yak fishing. Sandra Hillary's in here early today. Yeah, it looks like, uh, Looks like we got a few people in there. We'll see if people start commenting on the chat box so they can see me and then we're gonna get this party started. <coughs> We've actually already got it started out here. Locating these things so we can. There's Jared O says good morning. Bullock experience, Nikki Hayes, one Yankee fishing. There's Sandra, she says she can see me. All right. Y'all ready to catch some fish today? My buddy, I got my buddy Mark Naraki here with me. Mark, say something for the camera here. Hey, what's going on, guys? Looking forward to smoking Justin on these fish. All right, could y'all hear Mark? We're running a two microphone setup today. It's could been, you all hear him? It's been challenging. Yeah, technical difficulties this morning. Fish on. All right, Sandra says yes. Nikki says hurt him fine. Sorry about that if you could hear. Oh. Let's turn the camera around there. He's reeling one in here while I'm have you, have you, that's a better question. About three dozen. <laughs> we I'm got good, out here this morning. I'm not a good fisherman. I'm just a fisherman. He, he's not, folks. He's a fishing guide, but uh, he only plays one on TV. Yep. I'm going to tinker with this camera a little bit here, y'all. We'll get it dialed in on the, the proper settings. Oh, Sandra says we're buffering. Uh-oh. Boy, it's always something with these live streams. Always something. Rocky Roney says he can hear us both fine. Let me play around here with the settings. I want you all to be able to see these fish, hopefully. Joseph Kane says we're buffering. We'll see y'all. We, we're gonna try it out here. If we start buffering, we'll just say hell with it. There's Jack Fishing TV. Hey Mark, we got 9.99. Says glad to catch you live at work. My guy, catch a big one for me. We're gonna there try it, Jackson. Go. Thank you for that. Hey, uh, guys. There's John Duck, $4.99. He says, I'm shocked to see you on a boat, cheater. Ah, well, you know. All right. I'm going to see if I can make a few casts here. Mark's going to catch them all if I don't, y'all. Well, I got a couple trips coming up. I got to get, got to get that fresh live bait, fresh bait. Yeah, Mark's running guide trips up tomorrow and Monday. Yeah, and then throughout the week next week. But So he's, he's invited me out here on his boat to catch some bait with him. And we've got some skipjack. We were coming down this creek and we saw him over here busting. There's me one too. Me and Mark were doubled up here. I tell you what, dude, it made a big difference when I switched to that heavier rod. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, folks, we, uh, we saw these skipjack busting and they're running shad up against this rock wall over here. Here's me one. Come on. I had already got a couple here before we got the live stream going. We are so kind of worried that Justin was a better fisherman than me. Yeah, I had to, you know, I had to let him catch a few while I was setting up. while I was setting up the camera and trying to get this mount not to swing around on my chest. I got a DIY mount here on my chest that allows me to ideally be able to see the comments while I cast. It's a challenge but we rolling with it. Oh, Sandra Hillary hit me with $50. Thank you, Sandra. So let's catch these fish at Fort Lousy. That's where we're at, Sandra. We're at Fort Lousy. Yes. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily agree with its reputation, but that's what some people call it. Well, I agree with it. Memorial Day to Labor Day when the pleasure boats are out here. Yeah, it ain't cause of the fishing, it's because of the people. Yeah. <laughs> I love this lake in the early spring and late fall like this. Kill it. Yeah, Mark, he's he's caught a lot of big fish out here. I've caught a lot of big fish out here. It's a it's a good body of water. I actually think because of the uh lack of fishing due to the uh pleasure boat traffic, I think there's honestly there's bigger fish here. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, it don't, uh, there's another one. This place here, you know, when it's summertime, all the boats are out. 
a lot of the cat fishermen go down to Watts Bar. <laughs> it does place don't get fish. Oh, I lost him. I was trying to knock, knock a camera off. Do you, do you, next time you need me to boat that fish for you? Yeah, I need a net, Mark. You know, you know, the net. funny <laughs> thing is, I left the net at the house because it will get in the way when we're casting. Hey, there's Josh, 499. Thank you, Josh. Says, love your videos. Keep it up. Man, you all are awesome. It's 8.30 in the morning on a Friday. You made it all and we time. got people out here watching us catch bait, Mark. How awesome is that? This is a great world of what? Love my life, brother. Love it. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Let's see if I can actually land this one. There you go. Yeah, Y'all, uh, I've got my cooler with me here. My, my goal is to sock a few of these back for a rainy day. I'm going to be doing a bath tournament tomorrow and Sunday. So I'm not going to need these baits, but you know, when they're biting good like this, it's a good idea to sock a few back in the freezer for when times are hard. And so I'm going to keep a few today. And Mark's only got a couple hours. He can fish. He's got some stuff to do. So we're just going to try to get out here, load up. Mark's got him another one on. But yeah, y'all, you can see right here, see that rock wall, that retaining wall, these skipjack. There's Mark. Let me get Mark on camera one time. You're welcome, Mark. <laughs> well, these skipjack hey, have got I, I, these you, shad pushed up against that wall. Your likes just went up tenfold seeing me, my face on I it. just lost half my audience yeah, when I panned I over you, that. Mark. Nobody wants that. to see you. Uh, we do have 180 people in here right now. 42 thumbs ups. Been live seven minutes. Already caught a few fish. 179 of them are here to see me. Gail Reineke says, good luck in the tournament. Thank you, Gail. Old Raptors got meetings all day. We're in a meeting. Cameron, Cameron Ames there. He's about to head out and do some fish. There's Uncle Craig, $5. Says, wish we had Skipjack to catch in Southeast Ohio. We have to buy them frozen. They had a lot of fun when they bite in Uncle Craig. Thank you for that super chat. They're uh, fun to catch, but boy, I hate fishing for them when, they, when the bite's hard. Oh yeah. But I tell you what, that trolling technique you came up with, well, it, it makes a big difference. It's a good way to find them. Me and Mark started here to entrance of this creek, was trolling in and we just saw them busting and then started casting. Hey, John Duck in the house, 1999, he says, here's some money not to show that face again. <laughs> John Duck's my guy. For 20 bucks? For 20 bucks. Now. Can't That's that how bad. much people don't like you, Mark. They don't, they're willing to pay me money not to put you on camera. Yeah, it can't be that bad. It's 20, that bad. For 20 bucks though, like that's not like, I'll give someone 20 bucks so I can see the camera again. <laughs> 20 bucks ain't bad. That, that means he's, you know, not too sure. Like, well, no, it, it means he's sure. I take that as 100% sure he don't want to see you again. <laughs> hey, Dominic Hollis, he's a Catfish Club member in the house. What's going on, Dominic? We out here. Trying to catch us some skipjack today. There's Kayak Mike. This is nothing compared to the south where it is near guaranteed. Yeah, man, we got some good fishing down here. Pretty good weather, it's a little cool this morning. Nikki Hayes, she's another Catfish Club member. What's going on, Nikki? Jesse Tenorio in the house. There's another Catfish Club member says, good morning, Justin. I'm here to see you catch anything you catch. See, Martin, you notice that when Jesse commented, he said he's here to see me catch, not you, me. Well, hey, look, they can watch me fish and you catch. There you go. All right, I like that. <laughs> Y'all gonna hear some back and forth today. Me and Mark, we, we talk a little smack to each other. I can actually actually cast over here where the fish were since he's playing on his phone right now. Well, you know, none of us can be as uh, as fortunate as you are. Some of us have other work to do too, but. Well, I, I don't know what the heck you're doing. Mark's got multiple businesses he's running and he's moved into a new house. He's had all kinds of problems with that. Well, I it's know. It's a hard life being Mark right now. Yeah, well, the funny thing is it's not it's good problems to have, everybody. I'm not complaining at all. It man. sure sounds like you're complaining. Uh, well, you know, I hang around with you. What, uh, hey, hey, Kayak Mike says, is that Vin Diesel? 
<laughs> <laughs> if y'all, if you ain't seen it, go back and watch the catfish and carp video. Oh, that where one he was fished great. with Mark. Oh yeah. Oh, he roasted your ass bad. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was great. It was funny as it all get funny. out. It was funny. Yeah, check that catfish and carp. I think it's titled something like Fishing with Vin Diesel. And he fished with Mark here. And God, that was three years ago or more? It was a long time ago. It was a long ago. time ago. It was way before that. That video was funny as all get out. Here's another fish, y'all. Finally hooked up with another one here. Hey, don't cross my line like that. Don't get me all tied up. Well, oh, I had to cast where the there fish are, Mark. You've been cutting me off all morning here. Uh oh, Mark's oh, doubled I up over there, too. No, I lost him. Let me get this and unhook. And I had another super chat on there. I'm going to shout somebody out for. Hopefully the autofocus ain't too bad today, y'all. I'm trying to uh, keep my hands away from the front of the camera. I think that was the problem last time. Who we got here? Let me see. Alex Lumley, $5. Thank you, Alex. Says, love watching your videos. Makes deployment more enjoyable. Well, thank you, Alex, and thank you for your service. Man, I, I hope you get to come home soon. Be safe over there. Douglas meddling in the house. There's Dominic Hollis back with $5. Says, get them, Justin. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much, Dominic. I appreciate you. Hey, Chunky Cats, $9.99. He says, the challenge is, can you make 530 minutes with Super Chats? I currently have the record. I'm sure you'll break it, no problem. Hey, Chunky, I hate to tell you, man, but I got a man named Billy Hamilton. He gives me $500 at a pop. So your record is... Uh, <laughs> blown away <laughs> by, my, by my biggest fan <laughs> but chucky thank you for that super chat i would like to make that i'd like to make that every time i go live chunky how awesome would that be hey here's philip Holland. he says justin we talked about the wireless signal booster during your last live stream turns out it's not completely wireless like i thought sorry for the unreliable info tight lines well thank you for the super chat there philip yeah, I looked more into it. I actually went to Home Depot yesterday. I didn't see them here at the local Home Depot. I went online. I think the best option for me would be the Wii Boost, but there's still gonna be a lot of wiring because you have to plug that box in. You gotta power that box. Oh, and so I just, and, and the reviews aren't particularly great if you don't have a lot of distance between the internal and external antennas which I can't do in the kayak. So I hate to spend $600 on something and not know it's gonna work. Hey, David Streets, $2, said, my kid Isabella wants a shout out. She loves you. Well, thank you, David. And here's a shout out to Isabella. Thank you so much for watching, Isabella. Mark, will you say something to Isabella? Isabella, I'm sure is a beautiful young lady that uh, should be out here fishing with us, showing how it's done. That's exact, see? Mark, you're good for something today. I hope you made a Isabella's day. <laughs> Isabella's like, I don't know who that guy is. Is that Vin Diesel? Hey. <laughs> every, every, everyone that you know, gets on here with us, I can become one more person more famous than you. That's right. Hey, Gary Wormy Rich says, did you ever get Billy Hamilton a hook? Yes, I did. I sent, I sent uh, Billy a package of stuff here recently. Well, and I Sandra Hillary, my gosh. She says, okay, this should help. She just hit me with $200, Mark. There you go. She'd I'm already going. hit me with 50. She just come back with another 200. Is that Sandra the, is. That's to put me back on camera. No, no Sandra no, don't no. want to see you. No, nobody wants to see you, Mark. You just keep, <laughs> you just keep telling yourself that. Sandra lives down in Florida. She's down there in the good weather. Me and Mark, we had to, we had to bundle up on the boat ride up here this morning because it's, it's 50 degrees, but it felt like about 26 on the boat ride. What do you think the? Thank you so much for that, Sandra. Changing up this tactic a little bit here. Looks like they're... Fins and fines says no one brings the super chats like Chunky and Justin, man. I'm, I'm thankful for them, I'll tell you that. These super, or these live streams, a little bit of a, a challenge with the cell phone reception, but I'm really enjoying it. They're a lot of fun. It really passes time interacting with you all while I'm waiting on the fish and I get to know you all a little bit. I see it's in the comments and the regular videos, but it allows me the chance to kind of get to know you all a little better. and allows you all to get to know me a little better. So there's a lot of benefits to them. Hey, uh, 
I'm super lazy, man. Let's uh, switch this up. Okay, let's do it. I see them busting right over there. They move. Yeah, they're moving on. You us. keep pushing me this way where there ain't no fish. Yeah, well, hey, I got whatever advantage I can get. <laughs> I'm controlling the boat. You're controlling the camera. Yeah, that's true. You got the power in this situation. <laughs> Kind of like your wife at home. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I have the power at home too. <laughs> yeah. Jesse says, I just love to watch any of your videos because I was several years with seizures, strokes, and heart attacks. I'm getting back into catfishing now. It's fun. Lord, Jesse, you've had a hard go of it, man. I'm glad you're getting back on the right track. Wait a second. She's not on the boat with you, though. Who? Jesse. Is that who you just talked with? Jesse Tenorio. Yeah. She's yeah. not on the boat with you, so she's not had, had it that hard. Yeah, he said he's had seizures, strokes, and heart attacks. But I'm on the boat with you. Oh, so, okay. I'm that difficult, huh? This is the time of your life, and don't you try to say <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> uh, Sandra wants to know who's caught the biggest skipjack between the two of us. Uh, well, you know, it's probably him, because I spend 20 minutes getting this camera stuff set up, Sandra. He was, he was casting and, and catching fish while I was having technical difficulties. Hey, your handle's on the wrong side here, bud. Are you casting my rod? Yeah. That's why you're catching them fish. Your handle's on the wrong side. I hope I'm not still buffering, y'all. Looks like we got 260 people in here. There's Palmetto Cats. What's going on, Kevin? Lord, look at that, man. Give me a second here, y'all. I got my spoon wrapped around my leader. Well, that is all tangled up. That's going to be a problem. I may have to cut that, y'all. I was just telling Mark before we went live, I was like, how bad would it be if I got just a tangled mess with my leader or something around here and, and just, it just messed up the whole dang show? Listen, yeah, it's it better. It makes it better. It, does it make it better, Mark? It makes it better. I know it makes your day better. Oh, it does. To see me struggle. Oh, yeah. Fish and Business New Jersey said uh, it's working great. Justin Zachary Blanco says got bait and it's not buffering. Good. John Duck 999, he said he just became sort of famous because he's on your live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Old Mark here, he's, he's excited about going live today. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna hang on to your coattails as long as I can. Yeah, you ride them things, buddy. Hey, buddy. At least you do it in a positive way, unlike some of these YouTubers that just try to take shots at me to get some extra publicity by using my name. D. Duran. When you plan to do another nishing video? Uh, I don't know. You wanna do it next week? I got a bass tournament next two days, and then I'll be back to catfishing again next week. Y'all, I might have to end up cutting this thing. This right here, my spoon got wrapped around my line when I cast, apparently. I've made a daggone mess with that. Sandra says I'm buffering again, Mark. Will you put us in some cell phone reception? I'm working on it. We're moving the boat. Yeah, I'm about to. We, you got us trolling look, here, good. This much, this much awesomeness in one spot, the, the internet can't handle it. That's what it is. Too many fish being caught, so it's going to shut AT&T down. Is that who you have? Yeah, I got AT&T. Who you got? AT&T. I'll oh. give you a, I have an, actually I have an idea for you for your boosting your service. Oh yeah? What do yeah. you got? Uh, we did a house since we can't get, you know, we live in the area you live in. Boonies. I can't get no service out there. Yeah. But. My download and upload speed was good enough, so we bought ourselves the um, Netgear uh, something hawk, tomahawk, crazy yeah. hawk, whatever. And um, that's what we use. It's a, it's a mobile hotspot. That's what we use the house for all our internet service. Runs TVs and everything. Runs our computers, TVs, everything. So well, how am I going to power that in the kayak? Well, you, it's chargeable. Oh, okay. So you charge before you go, and then it's a mobile hotspot for your kayak and then you, everything is connected wirelessly from that mobile, you just log into it like a Wi-Fi. Huh. I, I'll have to take a fish up show too. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to read more in that. It works great and I, I bought it for my business, um, for the house, for the office. Y'all, I'm sorry I got this camera pointed at the seat here while I'm, while I'm <laughs> retying some stuff here. We got- 
Look at we got skipjack my, busting yeah, all over right here. All over the place, yeah. And I'm here. I am just indisposed because Mark's tied my line and leader up while I was. Whoa! Hey, hey, now talking hey now. to you all on camera there. Twenty-four. Yeah, y'all. What I'm thinking about doing another idea too for these live streams is to. I've got AT and T, and Verizon really isn't any better out here. No, it's um, a crap shoot back and forth. It's right? a crap shoot back and forth, but it seems like some places where Verizon works, AT and T don't, and vice versa. So I was thinking about getting a second line through Verizon. That way, when I want to go live somewhere, whichever I could have two phones basically, and whichever cell phone service provider had the best reception. I would just go live from that phone. It was like down at my parents' house. Reason I have at and is you go down there, everybody with Verizon has to park at the end of the road. That's the only place they get service. At the at and at least works at my parents' house. Hey Mark, right here, yeah. this is where I got on them the other day, right here, and I see them busting right yeah, here. Yeah, you want me to stop turning and get in there? Yeah, let's, let's make some casts right here, why don't we? Uh, if I can ever get retied. It'll take me a minute to pull these in. Y'all, this is a good opportunity, I guess, to show my rig. So we got a sumo spoon. I got a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm about to tie that on to a chain swivel there. And I'm gonna put a little weight above it, half ounce or so, just to give it some, give it a little, uh, weight to be able to cast it. These spoons are very light. And if you try casting without a weight, you're pretty much forced to use light line. And I like to use, you know, I got 15 pound fluorocarbon here for my leader. I like to use a little heavier leader because I want to be able to horse these fish in. I want to be able to, you know, before they come flying up out of the air and spit the hook, I want to be able to try to get them in as quickly as possible. So, This uh, heavier leader allows me to do that. That's a little just egg sinker there I'm putting on above the above the swivel. I think I had another super chat here. Miguel Watson, I did ten dollars. He says not much, just saying thanks for the content, man. That's plenty, buddy. Thank you so much, Miguel. Hell, it makes my day that you're in here watching at 8:30 in the morning on a weekday. We got 281 people here with you too. That's amazing. Just watching me catch some skipjack with this old guy's trying to throw me out of the boat here. Hey, I do my best. All right, I think I'm about retied here. Let me snip this, snip this line here with my dull pliers. And I think we're gonna be, I think I'm gonna be ready to fish again. If I do that again, I'm going back to the jigs. I can't be having all these tef technical difficulties here when you live. I don't know. I go back and forth. People need to know it. It's not oh, it's always... real world with me, buddy. I yeah. get me some tangles. It's not always easy out here. I mean, Chad says just join. That's a big kayak. Ah. <laughs> Stephen Parsons says, "Wait, is this a real boat?" Yeah, I'm on. I'm on Mark's boat today, Deuces Wild Fishing Charters here with my buddy Mark. He's got a big sea arc. What is this, Mark, a Big Easy? A uh, Big Easy 24 foot. Yeah, we a... got that spot covered, don't we? Yeah, you got this whole spot covered. Yeah. <laughs> Cast on top of each other. There's another Tom Keith, $20. Says, Sorry to hear about your fly fishing experience, but it was exactly what I expected. I use a light fly rod for what you use in ultralight. Get a cheap outfit and try it, it's a blast. Tip, most anything with yellow works good. Well, thank you, Tom. Hey, yeah, fly yeah. Actually, fishing ain't my thing. I'll, I'll learn that lesson. I forgot to ask you about that. Did you go to that fly fishing school? Yeah, Mark, I did. It was a, uh, the classroom portion was okay. I learned a lot. The outdoor casting session was okay. I learned how to cast. When I went out to put it in practice in the mountains, I was in every tree, I was snagged in every rock, I didn't catch a single fish. It was a disaster. It was so I was so ready for the day to be over. It was so frustrating.
farther in. D. Duran says he got to get to work, man. I, thanks for stopping by, buddy. Um, I was in this area here, Mark, the other day. I don't know, you know, they're always moving around here, but yeah. they were busting right there as we was going by. Oh, and geez, I was I like, well, this is right here where you. I was catching them. Hey, Douglas Fletcher says, sounds like you're fishing with Vin Diesel. You even sound like Vin, Mark. <laughs> The other day. Hey, is that a Grand National? I don't know what that is. I'm not a car person. The other day, they were one after another. I mean, they were just hitting anything that I threw at them. We did really, really good the first 30 minutes, but it seemed to slow down. I don't know if they moved out to the front or the back or. Dwayne Willett's in the house. What's going on, Dwayne? There was something busted over here beside me. Let me just make a cast over there. What over? Yeah, folks, for those of you just tuning in, we're out here catching some bait today. We started out at the mouth of this creek way up here, as you can maybe see. And we were trolling back and saw Skipjack busting in a little pocket. And so me and Mark stopped over there. We made some casts, we, we were catching skips kind of busting shad along a, a retaining wall. And we caught a few over there and the bite kind of slacked off. So we, Mark got us back on the move while I was retying. I'm tangled up again here, doggone it. And uh, he got us on the move and we were trolling and then we saw some busting over here. And now they seem to have disappeared on us, so. We're just gonna have to make a circle, I think. Yeah, probably. They're they're obviously here in this area. Bear with me, y'all. I'm trying not to get the auto focus on the See, blowing back working up. on the camera. There we go. I'm untangled. Looks like they're blowing up back up out there in the middle again. This right here, y'all. Let me show you this tip here. That chain swivel. If you're using a spoon, I got a sumo spoon today. I don't care what spoon you use. You better have you a good swivel, because these things will get you all twisted up if you don't. Mark, we got 319 people in here at the moment. And we've no, had 120 thumbs up. I bet we've probably got at least eight or 10 thumbs down just because of you, Mark. Really? Yep. God, just that, that's it? That's, that's actually, it. That's, I thought there'd be a lot more. I thought there'd be a lot more too there since I'm fishing with you. Did you get one finally? Yep. Good. Oh, nope, lost him right there. Amateur. I'm gonna switch over and throw some jigs for a little while, I think. I've got a few on the spoon for those of you just tuning in down there. I got, I don't know, four or five. But uh, I'm gonna get back here. If Mark ain't messed up my rod, he was trying to reel it in a little while ago while we were trolling. The handle's, probably, on, the handle's on the wrong side. The handle's buddy. on the wrong side. He's a right hander, wrong handed as I call him. <clears throat> yeah, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm trying to cast and keep up with the chat box best I can. Art Vance is not buffering, that's good. We've had some complaints of buffering today. Like I said, this much awesomeness in one plus location is gonna break the internet, but. Sandra says it's good there. Jason, Jason Hofstra said he's giving a thumbs down because we're fishing he's behind a desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you go live and make it feel like you're here. Yeah, exactly. You can come fishing with us. You just don't have to, you just don't have to deal with all the snags and tangles and lost fish like we do. JR63601 has to head out to see the doctor, man. I hope it goes well for you, buddy. Shannon Vaughn in the house. Morning, Shannon. Kenny Tolbert says, no lag right now. We'll just wait. Mark will get us back in some lousy cell service here area again in a minute. Well, I don't, I don't understand all this. Oh, I put my, dang it, sorry. I'm off the mic. Art Vance says, Mass me, pass me a moon pie, please. Right. Lord, Mark's. Messing with the mic. You're messing with the mic. People's getting 
rocked in their earbuds right now. I'm about to have to lose my sweatshirt here too, Mark. All right, is that better? Well, hopefully. Hopefully. Barry Coomer says coming in loud and clear there. Realville catfishing right now. We've been throwing spoons. Right now I'm throwing some jigs there, Realville. I guys, guys, I got a different rig than he does. Yeah, Mark, show him your rig that ain't catching no fish either. Yeah. So I, he is correct 100%. I do have that swivel up there because I have a spoon on the bottom. But for my weight, instead of using a uh, uh, egg sink or whatever, I use a jig in the middle. Therefore, I can throw a jig and a spoon at the same time. And I've caught, sometimes I hit the spoon, sometimes I hit the jig. So I, I do the best of both worlds. He's a, he's a professional, folks. Deuces Wild Fishing Charters. Look him up. Only guide in East Tennessee I recommend. He's the, about the one guide around here that ain't pissed me off yet. How long you think that'll last, Mark? It lasts a lot longer than I thought it would <laughs> already. <laughs> well, if I keep sending you information like this, I'm okay. Yeah, you just keep, you just keep putting me on fish here and taking me on your boat and I guess we can be friends. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Farther in or farther out? I don't know. They clearly, they've moved. Yeah. We're going to go searching. Let's go searching. You're going to throw them, you're going to throw them back out and troll or we're just going to go cast them? Yeah, no, them I'm going to troll. That way we can maybe talk to some people, yeah. answer some questions. That's a good idea. I'm going to go, uh, what do you think, going out and then back in? Yeah, we can if you want. See, right there. Yeah, there's some more busting right there. Doggone it. These skips are always on the move, y'all. They're chasing shad, but... If you can get on them in a good concentration, you can sit there and just wear them out. Like when we first started the stream and they were over there at that rock wall. It's really got, amazing too how, several. how smart they are to, to, to run that shad up into the wall where it's easier to, for them to hit them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they were definitely using that rock wall to their advantage. Some more, they're just all over out here. We seen them right there at that dock. Now they were out here in the middle. This, there's one. Hooked up again, y'all. No oh, 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 did you see that? I double. got a double there. Double. Oh. He, oh, I lost one. He come up and snatched that other jig out of the out of the air right there while the other one was on yeah this here this is just jigs folks these are bucktail jigs bipper baits is a viewer of mine and he had sent me some of these and he had hand tied them there so i was using them today but yeah another skippy i got a few down in there I'll, four or five or so i guess they're in the middle i just cast it out first cast got hit did you yeah, folks, they're out here in the middle of the channel, probably 20-something feet out there right now. And they're right here on the surface, busting that shad. Travis Gentry says, love the smack talking. Good thing, buddy, because there's a lot of it when me and Mark are fishing oh, together. Oh, yeah. You got all we do. Here. Turn that camera over here. Ted says, love the lives, keep look, it up. Look, look what he does with his rod. Puts it right here, right right where I want to cast. Yeah. Look, like, I mean, if yeah. that's not, you know. Listen, Mark, you got a boat. Look right here. I got hit. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. I got a double, y'all. Yeah, get See him See if in. I can get both of them in. Oh. There we go. Boom, right in the cooler. That's how you do it right there, man. Vivi Saldana, 1999. Thank you, Vivi. He says, good morning, Justin. Glad to see you live again. I enjoy every minute of it. Thank you for the videos. Thank you. I'm on a two-week vacation. Say hello to West Texas for me, please, buddy. Absolutely. Hello, West Texas. I hope you enjoy your vacation. Vivi's a truck driver, so he has earned his vacation. It's hard times being a truck driver right now.
Hey, I appreciate anybody who brings me some supplies. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Hard times right now. My mom couldn't even find washing powders the other day. Things be out around here. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, they're I right may here. be doubled up right here too. They're right here in the middle, huh? They're right in the middle of this channel. You doubled up again? Yeah, I'm doubled up again, Mark. When you're a professional like me, you double up. I don't catch singles like you do. I just enjoy having, you know, Yep, yep. I, Boom. I enjoy fishing so much that I want to Woo. catch one at a time. Hey, Hooks and Hammocks just hit me with $10. Hang on, Hooks and Hammocks. I got to unhook these fish. Mark here, he's reeling in another one. Double. Mark, you doubled up too? Yep. He's got it on the spoon and his jig there. Hold on, Hooks and Hammocks. Man, I tell you what, that was a that was cool, man. Two doubles like that? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, folks, there's a lot of YouTubers and there's a lot of cat fishermen that if skipjack ain't biting at the dam, they can't catch them. And out here today, we're in a backwater creek on Fort Loudon Reservoir. And these fish in the fall right now will be up here in the backwaters chasing shad. And you can get back here and oftentimes you won't see them busting like we see them today, but if you troll for them, they'll be there and you'll catch them. And then once you get them dialed in, then you can, then you can, sit there and cast to them but i see so many so many youtube videos about skipjack fishing all they do is sending that to dam <laughs> where'd hooks and hammocks go there it is it's a shout out for fishing with big mike bank fishing the tennessee river and catches monsters quickly approaching 1000 let's help him out well yeah y'all check out fishing with big mike he's down there on nickajack catches some huge fish and he's got a growing YouTube channel. So thank you, Chris. Thank you for that super chat. I appreciate you, buddy. We had another one pop up too. Bipper Baits, $5, man, Bipper. Thank you for that. Look what I'm using today, Bipper. Let me get it over here in front of the camera. I'm using them jigs you sent me. He says, gonna need to go to a single marabou jig. You're making that co-angler look really bad. I don't need to make him look bad. Just look wow, at him. Wow, are you kidding me? He looks bad on his own. Wow, <laughs> man, you got some. I got, look at, look at, whoa, go, where, yeah, take that back. Oh, you got a double on? I you may, ain't gonna probably land got a double on. And you're gonna lose at least one. Well, now I gotta play with the boat. You know, if you was a professional, you'd be able to operate the boat. I am, I and did reel operate the boat, and I'm catching this fish right here, right in front of you. You lost one. I knew you'd lose at least one. There we go. See, I landed both of mine when I'm doubled up. Hey, who's who's your jig guy on there? Who B sent you the Bipper jig? Bipper Bates. Yeah, I just lost the jig. I just lost my jig. I need a new jig. Well, that sounds like you need to place an order. Is all I can tell you. Ah. I ain't giving you none of mine. That he sent me. I don't have that kind of cash if I keep taking you fishing. Well, all these super chats, it's mine, Mark. I ain't, I ain't splitting a dime with you. I know you're not. I, I understand this. <laughs> oh, I'm hooked up again. Watch your feet. Mark's over here playing footsie with me as I'm trying to reel in another fish. I got a single on this time, Mark. This is more on your level right here. Getting that cooler there, Skippy. You know what? Let me take care of that for you. Yeah, why don't you unhook that? I'll, I'll take care of that for You're you. You're supposed to be a fishing guy, I am Mark. full service. Full service fishing full guy. Service. This is wild fishing charters. Oh, man. How'd you hook this thing? He ain't coming out. Uh, you damn right. Go. Some good hooks. For those of you just tuning in, we got 373 people watching. We're skipjack fishing, catching some catfish bait. Mark's got a couple guide trips coming up and we're getting some fresh bait and we're in a creek on Fort Loudon. And these skipjack have been on the move. We come in, we found them right away, busting shad along the shoreline on a retaining wall. Now we're getting them out here just in the middle of the creek. It's over 20 to 30 feet deep here. I don't know the exact depth, but we're just, they're just out here on, on the surface in the middle of this creek channel. And we're making some casts here and just wearing them out. I got two marabou jigs on, uh, white colored jigs, and Mark's got a jig and spoon combo on. That's the, they're hitting about anything you throw right now. How much you want? How much I want. You want, I'm, I'm about to put, start putting a million all dollars jack. is what I want. What I'm about to start putting all these skipjack I'm catching in your cooler. I got more than enough. Look at them right there. I don't know if you can see them right there uh -oh. on the screen, y'all. They were coming up everywhere for my jigs. 
Watch this. I'm going to just... Oh, uh, let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah, get that oh, for me, Mark. Hold on now. It's in my hand. Get there that for me. Let me get that. Don't put a hook in you now. Then things are sharp. That's a nice Deuces Wild t-shirt. How come I ain't got one then? Because I ain't got no chat, uh, cat, catfish hat. Well, that ain't a fair trade. These hats are worth <laughs> way more than them shirts. I think that's a real fair trade. Lord, we're 40 minutes in. We got a oh, there it was. bunch Boom. of fish already. I'm gonna have to lose this sweatshirt. I'm catching so many fish. Where'd that other super chat go? There it is. Oh, we got a few up. Boy, I've missed some super chats here, Mark. Let me catch up. We got Jason Smith, $1.99. He said, I was expecting the Browns to be better this year. Never trust the Browns, Jason. Listen, man, the Cleveland, you ought to know better by now. You can't trust Cleveland. That's a, at least they won last night, didn't they? I think they won. It was still on when I went to bed. Redeem the Nation, $10 says, give a shout out to Southeast Texas. Watch ever upload, stop making your partner look bad. <laughs> well, shout out to Southeast Texas, man. I can't make him not look bad. I mean, you've seen him here on video. He makes himself look bad. Your audience is ruthless, man. They are, they're just like me. These Jeez. are my people. Wow. These are my people, Mark. All right, I'm this a, is why I like hanging out with them. Watch, watch this, I'm gonna take this motor and run right over top of your line. Good, do it. <laughs> There's William Bingham, $5, says, can I get a shout out to my son at Camp Pendleton in the Marines, oh, Paul absolutely. Bingham. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Shout out Paul Bingham, man. Thank you for your service. Thank you for keeping us safe, and I hope you stay safe over there, man. Take care of yourself. But absolutely, shout out to all the troops, police, fire, first responders, healthcare workers, truck drivers. Shout out to everybody. The working. real, the real people make this uh, make this world exactly. go around. Exactly. The real people that keep the country going, not the yep. talking heads on the TV and public office. Yep. Scrolling down, y'all. I've missed a bunch of comments here, y'all. I'm sorry. Mr. Knoxville in the house. Art Vance is still here. Y'all, I, I need to do two things, I think. I think I need to adjust my camera angle. I need to come out of this sweatshirt because I'm roasting out here. Oh, Jeff Gerald, so he's got a 12-team a parlay. It's going to win him 10 grand if he hits it all. That's, a, that's asking a lot, man. That's a lot of games that's got to go right. I got Arizona this weekend in my Survivor League. I think me and the audience here could go out there and beat Houston, so. There's Josh Wagner, what's going on, buddy? Mark, I'm up to $424 right now. Let's see, I burned gas in the truck and the boat on the way out here, so I'm negative. I was gonna say, how? I'm positive <laughs> and you gotta be at least 100 bucks in the negative yep, already. I'm in the hole. <laughs> I'm in the hole. Oh, here we go. Rod, Renegades of Dirt, man, $49.99. Thank you, man. He says, I love your show. I wish I could fish with you on a catfish trip. Thank you, I've learned some watching your shows. Thank you, Robbie Cirrus. Or Cyrus. Maybe. I'm sorry, Robbie, I may have butchered your name, but thank you so much. Man, that's a that's a big super chat. And I think that's the first time that you might have been in some other live streams, but I, I, I may have missed your comment before. But I'm glad to have you, buddy. Thanks for stopping by today. That's awesome. Jason Smith said, did Houston trade Watson? I keep hearing the rumors there on the talking head shows that they're going to this week. It's gonna be something if Miami trades for Watson and then he gets suspended or kicked out of the league or something because of his, uh, his women problems. Don Bell in the house, what's going on, Don? She says, what did I miss? We've been catching a bunch of skipjack this morning, Don. We were on them good here. Mark moved the boat and got us off of them, but uh, they're busting all around us here. If he'll put us back on them. Hey, a good fisherman doesn't need to be put on the fish. You can catch them on your own. Well, I ain't never said I was good. 
according to your according to your uh, uh, followers there, you need to sh show me how it's done. In Fisherman did label me as an expert kayak cat fisherman in well, the article. There's another one. You're not into kayak. I'm not into kayak. I'd probably be catching more if I was. <laughs> I wouldn't have to be listening to you today, Mark. Let's land another one since you, Mark ain't gonna catch you any. Could, you could only be so lucky. Do you need me to unhook that too? I, oh. I mean, if you want to. Well, well you gotta reel yours I in, gotta I reel guess. this in. Let me unhook it myself. Good gosh almighty here, I don't know. Why I gotta do this, Mark? You're supposed to be my fishing guide today. Uh -huh. I guided you to the fish. What more do you need? I need you to unhook them too. Oh, that's all right. Look, look, you got. Two. Oh, I got a double. See, my gosh, you finally landed both of them. Yeah, here, look folks. at that. Look at that. I got two, and he got one. Who's well, better now? You're a hundred percent better than me, Mark. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's math. That's that common don't, core don't, math. Don't, don't throw that. To, don't don't throw that math thing at me. I don't understand that. I know you don't. I was about to confuse you. That's why I brought it up. Distract you from catching anymore. Mark Vance is Justin passed Robbie a moon pie. <laughs> I got one in my bag, buddy. Coop City says, what a terrible captain. Get back on him, Mark. Absolutely. I'm right on him now. Check that out. Yeah, he's, I'm reading comments. He's over here reeling in fish. I got to start. Doubles again. Him. Oh, I got one oh, off. Oh, I'm, I'm hooked oh. up again too. Look at him jumping out there, man. Oh, he spit it. Oh no, he didn't spit it. You lost it. I lost. Oh, oh, did you see that? Right in the he boat. ate it. I got two of them. Oh, them. yeah, there he is. He just come back out and snatched that jig right there. One of them hit it, and the other come snatched the other jig. <laughs> I hope that's, that got on camera. That's skipjack fishing right there, boys and girls. Yeah, when they're biting good, folks, this is fun. I've said it before. I I, I hate fishing for them, but I love catching them. Man, I'm gonna get hooked, Justin, watch this. Yeah, I hope you do. <laughs> it's a small hook. I'm not wishing too much pain on you. A just ninja a, warrior it's like a, yourself. It's just a small prick. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right yeah, there's another one. Right here. There's all over right here, the center of this oh, creek yep, channel, y'all. Right there, boom, 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 we're both on. I'm gonna reel mine kind of slow, see if another one will come up and snatch that other jig right here. Yep. Single this time. Oh. Yeah, y'all, we've been out here 47 minutes that we've been live. Now, granted, I, we had we took a little time to find them this morning. And me and Mark, we had, I don't know, four or five each, but we've about filled a cooler here in 47 minutes. Z Deckards is definitely an expert. Robert Keaton says cooler's almost full. Yeah, man, it's fun when it's like this. These are hard pulling fish too. They're fun to catch. Anthony Clifford, he's a catfish club member. Thank you, Anthony. Warmy Rich says, I do need a person to go around and unhook my skipjack. I do, I need somebody to be unhooking all my fish, whether well, it be skipjack or catfish Oh, hey, here you go, Justin. Check this out, where's that camera? What do you want? Yeah. That's what they're eating, guys. Let me get my jigs reeled. Oh, hold on here. I got another fish as I was reeling in. I was going to compare something here and show you why they're hitting what we're throwing. Ooh. Hey, Mark, unhook that for uh -huh. me. Do your job here. What the hell? Any day now, Mark, we got 417 people waiting on you. To get hooked? To get hooked. Hand. To be entertaining, to do something. Uh -huh. They didn't just show up for the heck of it. Okay. Up right in the back air. There we go. Yeah, get that other. That's a that's a good thing there, Mark. Get that shad and show them here. So the, one of these skipjack just spit up a shad. And look at look at that bait versus what we're throwing and the sizing. So there were, there's the spoon. Yep. Right. Almost identical size and color. There's the jig. Again, same size, same color. And then here's Justin's. That's yeah. a bipper beach jig right there. Which is, again, almost, almost same size and color. And that's what you want to do, y'all. Match the hatch. Exactly. So. You, you, hey, you need to train your fish better staying cooler. I want them to make a, a mess on your boat there, Mark. That's what I needed to do. Mark's anal about his boat being dirty. And so I want, oh, there's another one. Just like that. 
Oh, he spit it. Amateur hour here. Yeah, they're just busting all over out here, man. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. There it is. <laughs> Doubled up here, Mark. I'm gonna need you, you take two I'm of these coming. off. I'm coming, boss. Oh, I lost oh, one. Geez. I'm trying to make your job easier by losing them. One, one skipjack is not worth my time, bud. I know it ain't. Whoa. You're somebody like you, you need, I need to put me about three more jigs on. Yep. How many we got in there, Mark? I think I got. I think you almost got a dozen and a half, two dozen. I know I got a dozen or more back air. I'm just pulling, filling your cooler now. I don't really, you know, yeah. and then if you want to continue, I got the big rods. We can go drag some baits for a minute. Pull my audience here. You heard the man. We've got a whole cooler full of skipjack here. Do you want, how long are we fishing today, Mark? I mean, right. you, got, you got stuff to do today. Yeah, what time is it? Looks like it's 9, nine o'clock. I can give it a solid hour. You know, 11, 1130 be back. I, I don't have a problem with that. So y'all tell me, um, do you want us to keep skipjack fishing here? Or do you want to go pull some rods for and try to catch a few catfish here? Mark's got about another hour. He's got some stuff to do. Holly Tridell, she says, I see what you're doing. Holly knows what I'm doing, I'm catching that bait. Oh, here's a double. Oh, Mark's hooked up. Nope, oh, lost one of them, they're still on now. We're just catching them. My, my leader's there. messed up here, but I'm gonna- Oh, geez, look at them go. I'm gonna make another cast anyway. They'll hit it anyway. Don't hit me at them fish, Mark. <laughs> Lord almighty, you about to <laughs> knock me overboard. That's called, uh, what do they call that? Uh, um, 3D, I'm trying to show your Oh yeah, them uh, virtual reality. Yeah, yeah. Just like you're here. Cody says unhook it for Mark. Heck with that. I don't work for him. <laughs> Brutal. He, he's my assistant today. I'm seeing a lot of people, Mark, saying go after the cats. Oh, I got. Oh, geez, look at them all go right here. Yeah, they're just all right oh, here. Oh, they're spitting. Oh, he's coming right at that trolling motor. Oh, and he spit it right there. Yeah. Oh, he took off with one of my jigs. All right, last cast then. Uh, I'm going to make one more too. I'm going to make one more cats with my single jig out there. And I guess we'll go catch us some cats. Try to anyway. Oh, he hit it. I hope y'all seen that come up on the camera right there. <laughs> yeah, Holly, I got a whole... Holly Tridell, she runs CNC Outdoors, buddy of mine. I got a whole cooler full of skipjack, Holly. It's been a dang good morning here. We've been live for 52 minutes, and me and Mark's been catching them one and two at a time. Get this one unhooked. Mark's got another one over here. Get that thing, there we go. We got them in the floor, can't even keep them in the cooler, we got so many. But yeah, folks, for those of you tuning in again, a lot of people think that you can only catch skipjack at the dams. You watch YouTube videos about skipjack, everybody's in the tailwaters. But you can see here, we're on Fort Loud and there's Mark's ugly head. We're in a big creek here. We're out here in the middle of the channel. And you just troll through these creeks till you find them. Sometimes they'll be in the middle. Sometimes they'll be on the shorelines. But in the fall, they're chasing these shad and they're in these big schools and so they're going where the shad are. So the other day I come out, I was catching them on the bank over there. We made a few casts. I think we got a couple over there, but when we first got out here, they was against the retaining wall busting shad. Now they're in the middle. So you just gotta look for them. You gotta move till you find them, but they're, they're, they're on the main lake too. They're not just in the tailwaters is what I was trying to get at. Mark's back there catching another one. I thought we was going catfishing. I'm I working on it. I gotta get the I'd boat have kept out. I casting, Mark. I don't know. It's just too hard not to catch these things. Sandra Hillary says, "So happy, fresh skipjack. You're awesome." She's talking about me, not you, Mark. Oh, I'm awesome. You suck, Mark. I do. Jonathan Grimes says, "What lake are you on? We're on Fort Loudon today." All right, we got everybody. I don't see anybody here that's wanting us to keep catching skipjacks. They all saying cats. Mark, you kept a live one too, didn't you? Oh yeah. He's got a live skipjack back there in his bait tank. Brian Ray says, what lake does Deuces Wild fish for charters? I'm looking into maybe booking next year from South Carolina. I know you all have access to a few options. It would be for a catfishing trip. I'll let you take that, Mark. Tennessee River, <coughs> Fort Loudon, Watts Bar Lake is majority of where I fish. Okay. 
the wet, what is that considered? The uh, West Knoxville area yeah. from Knoxville to Kingston basically is. That's where I'd tell people to stay, West Knoxville. They won't get their wheels stolen off their cars there. Coop City asks, Mark, how long can you keep a skipjack alive in your live well? Five but, minutes. That's about for me too, about five minutes. They die so quick. You guys have to, in all seriousness, if you want to keep skipjack alive, you need over a hundred gallon oval live well with a ton, yeah, you can give me that. I know, yeah. A ton of, uh, of flowage, right? Pumps and all kinds of stuff. Live skipjack is extremely difficult to keep. You gotta catch, catch them and use them. You can't, can't catch them and keep them. All right, y'all, what do you think? Y'all wanna go catch some cats with us? Pull some baits for a little while? James Pavey says, how's it feel being in a, in a boat in the kayak? It feels weird, man. It's weird. Holly Tridell says, what creek are you in? I'm gonna get my own. Holly, I could tell you GPS coordinates. You still couldn't catch them. Unless, unless Eric Romines puts you on them. <laughs> Why don't you do all the hard work, get them cut up and get all the rods out, Mark, and I'll yeah. sit here and look pretty. I'll be the star of the show. That sounds good, bro. I, I just do what you're good at. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you do what you're good at, which is my work, so. He's getting his rods baited up here, y'all. I think what I'm gonna do is lose this sweatshirt right quick while I... I'm gonna give your audience a, show them how you can test if the skipjack is uh, fresh or not. You do the do the fresh skipjack test. I will here. Let me start cutting it up, and I'll we'll do the fresh skipjack test. Bear with me, y'all. There's about to be some ruffling here on the microphone because I'm about to I'm about to lose this sweatshirt. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. I'm coming. I'm on pointions. I'm on pointions at something there while I get this shirt over my head. It's hot. I'm sure pointing at me has got to be better than pointing at the floor. I lost half my audience when I point that camera on you earlier there, Mark. Come on now, not half. Over half. Over half, that's better, that's better. I, I expect, Listen, I Vin expect Diesel, overachievers. Vin Diesel was cool back in the 1990s, but it's over. It's over? Everybody's about the rock now. Ugh. And you don't look like the rock. No, uh-uh. All right, we're back in business here, y'all. Coop City says, limit is 100 skips we there yet. Ah, uh, no, we've probably got. <laughs> I bet you we have two to three dozen. Probably two to three dozen, yeah. So, so guys, just, just be careful. Justin's really good at it, and I'm really good at it. Um, don't take more than you're gonna use. Don't take it, freeze it, and then it go bad, and you have to just toss it in the trash. It's a natural resource, guys. It, it doesn't, it's not something that sticks around if you abuse it. So we're just being very responsible, taking what we need for the next couple weeks because in the fall time, it's easier to catch. So we're not gonna go crazy on them because you do waste them if you're not careful. Yeah, most of my skipjack, y'all, I, I keep them in the freezer for rainy days, you know, when I have trouble finding them or ain't got time to go get them. And my turnaround time on skips is usually within six months. I get them, I use them. Sorry, y'all, I'm getting my jacket back on here, my life jacket so I can put the camera in. I had to ditch the sweatshirt, y'all. It's a, uh, see y'all, oh yeah, y'all see my beautiful face again. No, it's uh, it was cool out here this morning. It's about 50 something degrees, but the boat ride up here was cold. But then now that uh, now that we up here and we cast them, we moving around, it's getting a little warm again. Let me show your, your audience this. Well, my show, this pointed it, at you again. Yeah, this is called the boat tax. Oh my gosh, you taking my bait to fish with. Heck yeah, buddy, it's called boat tax. A boat tax. <laughs> I got your boat tax. Okay, here's a good question for you, Mark. Forever Surveillance said, where did Mark get that sleeve he just pulled off the rod? Oh, those are just rod sleeves. So um, a good friend of mine um, runs uh, Big Fish Outfitters here and they're local bait shop here in town and in, in, in Lenore City and uh, they have everything and these uh, uh, rod sleeves are, are awesome inexpensive way uh, for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of rod storage I can pile my rods together and then they don't get you know tangled in between the lines 
How do you have a boat that's about 800 feet long and you ain't got no rod storage? Because I didn't design the boat, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John Ott says, love the new hat. Thank you, John. I'm proud of these hats. Daniel down there at Catfish Sumo did a good job on them. I wouldn't know about those hats. Yeah, you wouldn't know because no. you ain't bought one. You ain't very high end. Is that how that works? James Pavey says he's fixing to get to work. How long are we going to be like the marker? He's got stuff to do. We're about to get baited up into fishing, though. All right, here you guys go. Let me look at that. That's a good looking bait right there. Yeah. You nasty. You nasty. It's fresh. Why'd you spit it out for if you're going to do that? <laughs> Lord almighty. You know, that, that's going to make a few do probably something nasty like that. Ain't nobody want to see that. I love to do that with the kids that come on the boat, little kids. You know, your wife's going to kiss you later. No, she's not. She's out of... She's yeah, you're right. She ain't going to kiss no. you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Real Beast says, good morning, y'all. Good luck on the tournament coming up, Justin. Thank you so much. Wormy wants to see the hat again. Well, let's put it on there and, and show you, Garrett. It looks good, don't it? New kite catfish hat available, catfishsumo.com. Marshawn Johnson says, how deep is the water right now? Ah, uh, hold on a second. Let me... Mark said his sonar turned off. He thinks that it messes with the skipjack. I think he's crazy. We're 28 feet right now. Oh, look at that big fish right there. Yeah, there's a big mark on there too. We're in a creek here, y'all, for those of you just tuning in. Uh, right out there is the main channel, Fort Loudon Reservoir. We've been back here catching skipjack this morning. Caught a two or three dozen of them, and now we're gonna pull some baits out of here. Mark likes to drag. This is what he does a lot, so he's getting baited up. We're gonna have, looks like, four rods dragging, and uh, he pulls planer boards a lot. So we'll have two rods behind the boat and two off to the side, just planer board getting them out there so um we gonna see if we can we got the bait we're gonna see if we can catch some cats now oh keith doc reed says we're buffering again you've got me in lousy cell phone service again mark linda cox ten dollars thank you linda says love your videos first time live chat time to catch monster cats thank you linda that's awesome linda thank you so much glad to have you here Eric Romines, he said he's he's puking because you licking that that skipjack, that old bloody skipjack. Hey, real fisherman. I'm a real fisherman. Yeah. Oh, Miguel, he's a catfish club member, says, I don't know, but you're starting to buffer again. Get me back in cell phone range, Mark. Right, look, we can catch fish or we can get in cell phone range. I, I, what do you want to do? You, listen, people want you to do both. You got to do both, Mark. I'm working on it. You got to do better, buddy. I, I hear that every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> UK sea fishing with Big Dan says try to avoid the weirdos. Too late. He's on my boat. Yeah. It's going to say, when I'm fishing with Mark, I can't get away from him. Gil Reineke says, no buffer, no my end. Hopefully, it's just individual people having problems. Hopefully, it's not my cell phone service. You think being out here in the high rent district, that there'd be cell phone towers around. I mean, that, that over there, that's a million dollar house. These up here on the water, what do you think, Mark? Probably 800,000 million? No, I, I'm guessing with today's market, these are a million and a half to two now. Yeah, they probably are nowadays. You'd think with these, with these gazillionaires we got out here, you'd have a more than one bar cell phone service. I don't know how these, these rich people rough it. Chad W says, "Where's Leaf Blower Man?" That's the, that's what we're missing today, Mark. We well, need us. We need us. Leaf we had, Blower we Man. We had the roofers. We did have the roofers over there where we started. Mm -hmm. They were working on that house by that retaining wall. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop a squat here. Mark's got this Sea Arc boat here for his fishing charter business, and it's got these couches here that are just awesome. For those of you just tuning in. We got a whole cooler full of skipjack here within the first hour that we were live, just shellacking them one after another. So we're loaded up on bait. I'm going to put some back in the freezer. Mark's got some for his guide trips coming up here for the next couple days. And uh, now we're pulling baits. 
and go and try to catch some cats in this creek. When you get this many skips in this creek, chances are the predator fish that eat the skips are probably nearby. So we're gonna to try to get on some here. Hey, Mark. Yes, sir. We got 469 people watching you run a guide trip right now. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. You got 400, now 470 potential customers that are willing to back out and not book a trip with you if you don't put me on the biggest fish of my life. So no pressure. It's live gotta be the biggest one of my life. Watch this live stream over. Oh, technical difficulties. Yeah, well, you keep moving me out of cell phone range, so. There's no pressure. I already put you on fish. Biggest skipjack you've ever seen. Well, I think, I think you need to get your eyes checked. Jonathan Grimes says, do you ever catch striper when fishing for cats? Yeah, I do sometimes. Mark does too. Jimmy Rivera says, you catch a big blue kitty, I'll send some money out to you. How about that, Mark? All right. He's talking to me though, not you, man. I know, I don't get a dime of no this. I don't get a dime. John Doe says, he is leaf blower man. <laughs> Hey, there's Darren Bales, $4.99. He says, gas money since you're in a boat. See, Mark, I'm getting gas money and you're spending yours to fill it up. That's how, that's where it's at. I'll tell you what, there's something wrong with this prospect of going on, what's going on here. <laughs> so it just doesn't feel right to me. Thank you so much, Darren. John the Fisherman says, how do I call to cancel my trip? <laughs> call Kayak Catfish. <laughs> the Kayak Catfish Complaint Department. I'm going to put your personal cell phone number on here, Mark. That'll get them calling. I'm telling you what. Somebody would call you. They call Holly Tridale up there at her shop to send messages to me all the time. I got some real weirdos. Y'all, for my regular audience, you know, I've had some problems with uh, various people, some of them YouTubers and some of them not. But yesterday on my uh, Facebook page, I had a real weirdo. This guy was spamming me with dead fish pics. And uh, I, I called him on it because he's a regular viewer. And I was like, man, stop. And he got all butt hurt and, and wrote these big long essays, about five posts in a row. So then he, then he started all crying about it and stuff. So I had to end up blocking him. And then he was posting on his Facebook page, shared my stuff, called me all kinds of names. I was like, man, I got some weirdos out there. That's the kind of people that, that call Holly at her shop to complain. Like tie wrap man? That old, that old kayak man. No, the tie, tie wrap guy, fish tie wrap guy. Marks his fish with a tie wrap. Oh yeah, gosh, that was a weirdo too. Yeah, that was another one I had to block. I'd forgot about him. He lives around here somewhere local putting the, the zip ties in fish and just so uh, hoping a YouTuber would catch one of his fish. There's some real weird people in this world, y'all. Hey, has life in the house. What's up, Has? Has, you got something in common with Mark. Both of you are bald. Now, Mark- And, and extremely good looking. Well, I wouldn't, I don't know that I'd say that about either one of you, but uh, Has just had to shave his head because he lost the bet to Chunky Cats, Mark. It don't, hey, it's all good. <laughs> Pull my gigs is if I ever use a guide, it's going to be Van Mark Diesel. <laughs> Boy, we've got some comments coming in. I can't, I can't keep up here. Hey, there was Brandon Hughes in the house. What's going on, Brandon? Eddie Seegers, Fishing and Freedom. Ray Leak says, go Vols, unroll tide. Absolutely. Absolutely. I got a feeling we're going to get blown out this weekend, y'all. But Better days are coming. Scott Harbrawl says, good morning, boss. Catch some big ones. If I had a fishing guy that was worth a damn, we'd already be catching them. We've had baits out a good three minutes now. Spider Skull HD in the house. There's Anthony Clifford back. What's going on, Anthony? Jesse Tenorio says, Steve hasn't tried bothering you again, has he? I don't know. I've got him blocked on so many accounts. I don't. He's probably tried. <laughs> Jason Smith says, I don't. I only need your football picks. You don't want mine. I'll be. I'll be losing. I'm confident Arizona's going to win, but I don't know if they're going to win by 17 and a half. <laughs> Hey, Mark, this one's for you. Uh-oh. Keith Doc Reed says, Mark needs to up his game. Justin's crowd is used to professionalism. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to bring him down to my level. 
Roy Hubbard says, why don't you open that bag of ice on those skips? Because we're only going to be fishing about another hour or so, and then they're going straight to the freezer. So I'm going to save Damn. that bag of ice. I'm that cheap, y'all. I'm that cheap. Harry Sproles. I agree. I can't even get a hat out of him. You can. You got to order them. <laughs> Catfishsumo.com. You can order as many hats as you want, Mark. I got you. I can't even get one of them short sleeve t-shirts. I got the long sleeve. You got the long sleeve? That was from years ago. I've outgrown it. Oh, you have not outgrown it. <laughs> <laughs> got Harry Sproles in the house from Indiana. Thank you, Harry. Oh, Romines is still blaming the officials for us losing last week. He's lost his mind. Fishing and freedom. So do you catch more on heads or body pieces? I catch more on body pieces and bigger on heads. Gary Warmy Rich, he's willing to be my complaint department. There's Ray Leak talking about old Psycho Steve again. <laughs> Dawn Bell says she wants to book a trip, but I have to be there. We did that recently. A guy sponsored one of my videos. He he really filled my pockets, and so I hopped on the boat with him. I'm willing to do it again. I know Mark, Mark's willing to do anything for a dollar. He, hell, he licked a skipjack head up there a minute ago. Josh Sanders says, how much longer are you going to be live? Just got tuned in. Probably another hour or so. Miguel Watson says, love the channel, but roll tide. He's a Catfish Club member. I'm going to let it slide. Y'all tell me what you want right now. I'm going to poll the audience again. I've got the camera right now facing the rods. Do you want me to put the camera on me and Mark, or do you want me to just still, me and Mark be behind the camera, and y'all be looking at the rods for a takedown while we talk? Totally up to you all. Oh, there's a fish on the head. Oh, get that, Mark. Get it. That's I'm holding head. the camera. That's a head. There's your answer. Yep. Get it, Mark. Mark never gets to reel in any fish. He's always putting people on them. That's a fun size. Yeah, everybody, everybody's voting to keep the camera on the rods, Mark. Nobody wants to see your ugly face. If I was out here by myself, they'd want to look at me. <sighs> but you're so ugly. So wait a second now. Talking about that guide service, well, we've had rods in, in the water, what, less than 10 minutes? Are you bragging on yourself? No, you just, you want me to it's catch fish? You put the pressure on, we're catching fish. It sounds like you're boasting a little bit. No, I'm not boasting. It sounds like you're boasting. I'm just answering, answering the challenge. Somebody's caught a fish in five minutes here and now he's getting all cocky. I ain't netting him for you. What? I ain't doing it. That's because we don't have a net. All right, let me get the camera up here so we can see it. It might be bigger than I thought. Don't, don't worry, Justin, I'll get this. Yeah, get that out of your way there, yeah, Mark. I'm trying to way. film you reeling in a fish here. Good gosh. Well, I can't do it all. Pull my gig says, is Mark the only guide you can tolerate? We know how you feel about most guides. Yeah, I hate damn near every guide around here. I got a real problem with, with a couple of them. One pissed me off recently, cut me off. I was drifting. He got about 50 yards in front of me, anchored down with his clients. Really ticked me off. Nice little fun size on a head. Yeah. All right. Five minutes into the drift here, y'all. Proud of yourself, Mark? Yes, I am. I, you put the pressure on and I performed. And How long has it been since you've been able to reel in a fish on your own? Uh, Probably since the last time me and you fished together. Yep. I'm going to back up here a little bit, Mark. Get you all in frame. Yeah. Well, fun size are there. Right on the head, too. Got them pliers, would you? Right well, there. You, well, you need tools? Yeah. You can't, you can't unhook a fish. I have such a good hook, hook mm -hmm. set that... Uh, All right. Got the bait back, too. And guys, look, I don't use gloves like Justin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's because you never catch any fish. That's so. true. <laughs> you don't need them. We got mud. He's down there in the mud. Yeah, he's been. Actually, there's a female. Very small mouth. Very yep. narrow mouth. Female fish. Yeah, I learned that little tip from Mark there. About identifying the males and the females. Yeah, we had some weather come through last night, y'all. We had some heavy rains and some storms. It moved through pretty quick, but. God, it stormed, it stormed big. Oh, it poured house. at yeah. my house. Yeah, twice. Yeah. 
I thought it was gone and it came back through. Mm -hmm. I was worried it might muddy things up a little bit out here today, but it didn't really seem to have an effect. Zachary Blanco says, how do I become a catfish member? There's a link down in the description, the video description, Zachary. Thank you for your interest in that. Chad W says, that one kind of looks like a larger dink. I like Chad. <laughs> I don't know if I, I ain't like... even got to talk smack to you, Mark. Know, Everybody else I, does I, it for me. I don't know if I like your, <laughs> your, uh, your followers there, bud. Russell Smith, he's a catfish club member, says, I'm late, but he's here. Glad to have you, man. Marshawn Johnson says, you guys are hilarious. Gil Reineke says, enjoying this. Aaron Goldsby says, that's some weak stuff on the glove, Justin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I get that all the time. Look, I'm out here licking skipjack and, and, and boating fish with my bare hands. <laughs> He's a man's man, folks. Oh, oh Justin, get, get in. You know. Cody Yakfish and says, strange females always have the bigger mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna touch that one. Cody. I'm not. I'm out. I'm out of that one too. Sandra Hillary's in the house, and she's one of my biggest supporters. I ain't touching that one. <laughs> You're on your own, bud. <laughs> Steve Sellers says that wasn't kayak camera worthy. That one wouldn't even made my video. Planter board's getting hit. Uh oh. It was. Well, I've missed a bunch of comments here. Quit busting my chops. Maybe you get Yeah, I know. I was busting your chops. I've been slacking on the comment box. Doug says, can't tell if y'all are Laurel and Hardy or Abbott and Costello. <laughs> I think me and him is more like Joe Rogan and Dave Chappelle, probably. If y'all saw, if y'all uh, we're, we're definitely NC-17. We're definitely. I've already warned him he'll get canceled today if he don't uh, keep oh, it in line out here. I'm not the way. <laughs> Matthew Compton, $5. Thank you, Matthew. Says, we are in eastern Tennessee for work. Have you ever fished Cheyenne Reservoir? You must be way up there in the eastern part, up in Johnson yeah. City, Bristol area. Yeah. But no, I ain't never fished there, buddy. Thank you for that super chat. We're down here near Knoxville. Uh, west, west end. West, yeah. We're in east Tennessee, but we're, Tennessee's such a long state, it's, we're, we're two hours from the eastern border. Bryant says Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> that's that's, that's a classic. More like, that's more appropriate. <laughs> Don't make me put my shirt up for Cornholio. <laughs> Steve Seller says, does Deuces suspend some when he's got him? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Some. Yeah. I don't do it a lot. I, um, it's interesting to me. Vertical fishing is a great way to fish, don't get me wrong, but um, you don't get moved around like he does in his kayak. He gets hit, the fish swims and moves his kayak, he has to fight it. In a boat, if you're less than 30 feet, two cranks and that fish is at the surface and it's, it's, not, it's not as fun. I like to put these rods out there, I like to fight the fish. Like, you know, fighting the fish is the fun part. Yeah. So um, this, you get a big fish or or something on one of these planter boards or rise out behind the boat and it's a great experience to reel them in. I mean, we're in 43 foot of water, three cranks of these reels and that fish is at the surface, no yeah. fight. So that's my opinion. Well, we're glad to have your opinion, Mark. Nah, At least one person I don't know was. about that. One person out of 474 was happy about your opinion. That's great, hey, <laughs> that's better than none. Oh, Gary says we're buffering again. I hope it's just him and not all of us. Hey, Bud Brutus in the house, 1999. Thank you, Bud. Bud's another regular viewer here, man. He's always loading me up. All right, let me get out of these rows. Mike Page says it's buffered a couple times, but nothing to complain about. Cody Yak fishing there with a Beavis and Butthead reference there. There's Bud Brutus with another 1999. Thank you, bud. I hope he didn't accidentally do that twice. I don't, this is something that stupid that Google does is they don't have the option to refund money on here for people that make a mistake. I, I had a guy one time that was trying to give me 30 and accidentally give me 300. And I was like, well, don't worry about it. I'll refund it. And I got home and, it, and I realized it wasn't possible to refund it. So I had to end up sending him a PayPal payment for it. So, 
you know, by the time YouTube fees and taxes and all that, I ended up basically paying him $150 <laughs> out of my own pocket to refund him. So I hope that wasn't an accident, bud. Okay, mic issues. Uh, go, you putting your jacket back on? Yeah, yeah. Man, when you stop casting, that wind picks up. I get chilly. Well, you you causing a bunch of... Everybody's thinking we're buffering, and it's you rustling around on that microphone. There you go. All right. Hey, I'm a, Amateur. I'm a fragile individual, bud. Amateur. Steve Sellers says, if someone wanted bigger fish versus numbers, would you lean towards suspending then, Mark? Nope. Nope? Nope. Right here in this spot, guys, in, the, in our general area, back-to-back uh, -back two days in a row uh, in the spring, I caught two 60-pounders. Uh, three weeks ago, right out in this area, I caught another 58-pounder doing the same thing. Um, I, I catch big fish doing this. Mark's, Mark's real good at this, and he is, you know, a big thing, and Mark will probably agree with me on this, a big thing with fishing is having confidence in what you're doing. There's no one set way. It's not black and white. You can have success a variety of methods and techniques, and Mark has put a lot of time into, the, into learning when and where to drag and has gotten really good at it, and so he's got a lot of confidence in what he's doing and catches a lot of big fish. Now, me, on the other hand, suspending for me is a lot more fun in the kayak than what it is in a boat so i like doing that and i've gotten good at it and developed a lot of confidence in it so it's all about what you're confident in. if you're confident in something you're going to keep doing it you're going to do it longer and that's what's going to put you on more fish i think lord bud brutus is back again with another 1999 he says no accident justin here's another <laughs> man thank you bud bud is the man man he just he's throwing 20 dollar bills at me like them girls at the mouses here <laughs> barry black hit me with five dollars thank you barry man y'all are being generous penny penny walter mark ask you a question here okay mark gets this all the time because of how he looks it says is mark retired military no. Nope. I respect the military and what they do and all of our armed service and, and police and fire and um, medical advisors, but uh, uh, nope, not me. I think it's I think it's your hairdo up there, Mark. Is it my hairdo? You look like a you look like a drill sergeant. <laughs> That's how you talk to me too. Yes. Hey, here's Bryant, ten dollars. Thank you, Bryant. He says, good way to start a Friday morning. Thank you so much, Bryant. Aaron Goldsby says if he called YouTube, he'd get a refund. Yeah, good luck getting a phone number to YouTube. I've tried calling them a few times myself. <laughs> hey, Steve Sellers, $5. He says, refund, refund. There's no refunds in catfishing. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Steve. <clears throat> okay, here's a question for you too, Mark. Uh, Billy Van says, I went fishing with Mark once. It was so cold, and my then four-year-old was a handful, but he was great. Looks like he switched the rod holders out on the boat. Wonder why. It used to be a big black bar. Yeah, so that uh, cat rack from Sea Ark took up half the back casting deck. Uh, Multibar is uh, the way to go. It's a uh, uh, wonderful gentleman, Multibar. It's on Facebook. Um, I don't have all his information. Does he pay me, Mark? Because no. you advertise him for I'm him. I'm sorry. <laughs> But by using the, him to cut me a check, using these new <laughs> <laughs> using these new mounts really opened up the back of the boat and uh, created more room for for myself and uh, other people. So it just uh, made it made the casting deck two times bigger. So okay, well there you go, buddy. There you go, Billy. There's your answer. Uh, I need that room when Justin's hogging the front of the boat. That's right. I need a lot of space. Hey, we'll see you later, Wormy. Hope you make it back before we're done going live. Nick Langford, $5. Thank you, Nick. Says, good luck. Love your channel. Well, thank you, Nick. I appreciate you watching, man. Hey, I didn't know this, y'all. Sandra Hillary's an Air Force vet. Man, Sandra, thank, first off, Sandra, thank you for your service, and, and thank you for all the Super Chat money. Y'all, Sandra has hit me up with $250 today. Sandra has loaded me up. Well, thank you so much, Sandra. Sandra, she works at Microsoft now. I'm surprised, I thought today, oh, she's off today. I think she works Sunday through Thursday, she said. So she's probably off today. Redfish Stalker, $5. 
Thank you, buddy. He says, what kind of boat are you all on? Good luck. Mark, you want to tell them about the boat? Sea Ark Big Easy. This one, the Big Easy is 24 foot. The Sea Ark Easy is 20 feet. Um, it's just a nice uh, family friendly fishing boat uh, to have these side couches, like yeah. pontoon boat seats. Let me step back here, y'all. You can see how far away I am from Mark. So when he runs his guide trips, you get a lot of families, yes. wives, children. Yep parents grandparents and all that and so they can be sitting here in comfort on these couches and whatnot while while you're fishing and so this is a it's a really comfortable boat you and know then, I'm, yeah. I'm not a boat guy but this is a really comfortable boat for doing what he does keith doc reed says he was in the army thank you for your service keith we got a lot of military people in my audience that's awesome i'm glad to have them Jeff Gerald's got to run. We'll see you later, Jeff. Anthony Clifford was a service member too. Thank you, Anthony. He's also a Catfish Club member. Travis Gentry says, Mark does look squared away. I won't say what I think he looks like. But. <laughs> hey, this is, is G-rated. Jacob Brown says, going to get my first kayak this week in advice. I'd recommend you demo whatever you buy before you buy it. Make sure you're getting the right one for you. Sandra says she was stationed in Germany and California, best years of her life. She's been all over the world. Roman Maroney was in the Navy. Thank you, Roman. Barry Black was six years Navy. Thank you for your service, Barry. Old Raptors, uh, he's an old Marine. Yeah, that's awesome. Jonathan Grimes says, what is both you and Mark's PB fish? So I never weigh mine, but my biggest I can tell you was in the video titled Holy Catfish. Mark, Mark does weigh some of his fish. What's your biggest, Mark? Uh, 86. 86 pounds. Where'd you get that at, Mark? Actually, that one came out of Nickajack. Nickajack. The biggest one here on the Tennessee River between Watts Bar and Fort Loudon is 75. Okay, that's still, that's a monster. Yep. Now you got, uh, I know earlier in the year, you got back to back 60 plus, didn't you, here on yep. guide trips. Yep, on guide trips. Um, and then like I said, I had a guide trip the other day, about three weeks ago in this general area. And uh, we caught a 58 pounder. Nice. And then I have a friend of mine that fishes every once in a while and I gave him some information. He came out here and I think he caught close to an 80 pounder in the same general Dang. area. So Fort Loudon has big, big, big fish. You just gotta be patient on Fort Loudon. Yeah. You know that as well as yeah. anybody. A, there's, there, some, there's a lot of good fish out here on Loudon, contrary to what people here. will tell you. It's just, a, it's a harder place to fish. Hey, old Raptor joined the Catfish Club. Thank you, old Raptor. Glad to have you, buddy. Thank you. Here's Tom Keith back with another $5. He says, my five-year-old grandson has taken me on a charter for lake trout on Lake Raystown, November 1st. Well, Tom, thank you for the super chat and good luck on your trip. I hope you and your grandson have an awesome day. And I know he's going to outfish you, but I hope he at least lets you catch one or two. <laughs> Curtis Large says, phone died for a minute. How long have you been trolling? Probably what, 15, 20 minutes, yeah. Mark? Yeah. Not too long. We loaded up on bait and then we started trolling out of this creek here that we caught them in. Fishing with Big Mike in the house. What's up, Mike? Hooks and Hammocks gave me a super chat to shout out your channel earlier, Big Mike. Um, it's going pretty good so far. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, me and Mark here, Mark brought me out here in his boat. We loaded up on Skipjack. Yeah. We got... Uh, I don't know how many skipjack, two or three dozen there, skipjack in the cooler, first thing. And then we polled the audience and said, well, do you want to keep skipjack fishing or do you want us to put some catfish rods out? And so the audience said catfish. So Mark hooked us up some baits on these rods and we've been pulling out of this creek that we caught the skips in. Um, again, for those of you just tuning in, we were skipjack fishing to start and got a bunch back here in this creek. So, um, yeah, Mark's done reeled in one fish here a few minutes ago. So we got one blue in here. Dustin Hooper's on the road to Alabama. Be safe out there, buddy. Mr. 
Dalton Harrington is apparently jealous of people's money out there. He wants to know what they're doing so he can donate to some goofy dude on YouTube. You think you, what do you think? You think he's insulting me there, Mark? No. Uh -uh. You don't think so? No. Because I block people that get out of line on here. I got a, I got a catfish club for people that like me and I got a kiss my ass club for people that insult me. The kiss my ass club don't come back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in that club. Well, you're in that tr that club for sure, Mark. <laughs> you in a lot of clubs, but uh, I keep bringing you back anyway for some reason. I'm going to let that slide for now. I'm going to keep my eye on him. Michael says, I'm thinking about buying a new boat around that size. About how much does that boat cost? Nowadays, I think uh, boat motor trailer is going to run you about 45 to 55, depending on you know what's available at this time that's yeah, a this is a big boat that's a dang nice one though linda cox says that skipjack doesn't look fresh have mark check it again for freshness <laughs> he'll do it <laughs> i do it it's not a big deal it's fresh it's like sushi <laughs> John Partridge says, do you catch many flatheads while trolling? No, that is one thing I do. I do have to slow down and anchor around major uh, humps and structure to catch flatheads. But yes, I do catch flatheads doing this. Uh, the more I can run a board close to shore in deep water, we have a lot of uh, uh, deep secondary channels by the bank that are uh, you know, two or three feet off the bank that are 30 feet deep. And when I run a board right up along that bank, I'll catch flatheads. I've caught big flatheads doing this as well. Hmm. Underwater points and stuff like that, of that nature, but no, uh, 99, 95% of the fish are blue cats. Okay. And stripers. All right, there's Dalton. He said it was just a joke, guys. I, see, I got subscriber only chat on here. Regular people can't just pop in, and that really helps weed people out. So, uh, I figured Dalton was just joking, but I like to bring up my Kiss My Ass Club because I add some people to it every time I post a video. It's an exclusive club. Fishing with Pettigrew, he's a Catfish Club member. He says, Big Easy in Missouri is pushing 60K. Wow. Epic Catfish in the house. What's going on? That's the guy right there catches some big fish, man. I'm sure. He catches some monsters. Michael says he's buffering something terrible. I hope it's just him and not me. Okay, Mark, here's another one for you. Joe Bradley says, how much does it cost for a four hour or eight hour trip with Mark if all the people bring is themselves and their beer? That's great. Do you even allow alcohol on your? Yes, but if you get out of line, I'll physically throw you off the boat. Yeah, he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, folks. He can do it. <laughs> His other job, he runs a guide service and a martial arts school, FYI. Um... <laughs> Four hour trip is uh, 350 up to four people. Every person over the fourth person is $100. I can do about six total people. Um, the uh, six to eight hour trip is 550 up to four people again. Okay. So, and then deuceswildfishing.com or deuceswildfishingcharters.com. Uh, I own them both. They'll take you to the website and there's pictures and uh, all kinds of stuff. In fact, this guy's on there too. I am. Yeah, I'll put you uh, up there By there God, there. I better be getting a royalty for it. I'll give you a royalty. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Curtis Large says, I don't see any boards. Are you just dragging Santa? Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it out there. There's a board off to the... Hell, I can't see it on my screen either. I see here. Right yeah. out there, maybe, though. His board's... We got the sun and they're kind of hard to see from the camera here, but they're, they're out there. We got two rods off the back and two boards. We must just have individual people buffering because a lot of people saying they ain't buffering. And we're just, guys, we're not being serious this morning. We just a skipjack trip. We're just, we just threw some rods out just to see what we're going on just for a few minutes and see if there's fish staged up in front of the creek where all the skipjack are at. This is not normally um, how I do it. Mm -hmm. but pulling out of a creek can be very successful yeah we but due to the weather i think the fish are going to be deeper yeah we we come out here just to catch some bait y'all and mark had a couple hours this morning he needed to come catch some bait for his guide trips that are coming up and uh 
we got bait so quick it was like well let's just let's just pull some baits out of this creek he's got some stuff he's got to do today he's got a, a new house and he's got a bunch of stuff going on over there it's been something about every day yeah i got the deck guys over there again today so we're just gonna pull a little while here he's already got him one though in this creek i'm looking to go over just you can take a look at the screen here i don't know if it'll show up philip h says he really likes your dragon setup that's the first nice thing somebody said about you all day mark well now he's my favorite person ever if philip you're number one in mark's eyes now definitely above justin <laughs> River Attic says he's never trolled for catfish, but planer boards are huge for trolling walleyes where he lives. He's up there in North Dakota. That is, that's correct. I came from Ohio. Uh, we used uh, planer boards a lot in the uh, Lake Erie uh, fishing. Here we go, fish yes. on. Hold on, Mark. I gotta get my glasses. Oh. Don't reel it in yet. I didn't reel it in. It hit the head and let go. Which ones are these? That's my polarized glasses. I gotta get the non-polarized so I can see the screen. That's, that's a YouTube pro tip right there, y'all. Use. I got so many glasses in here. Where's bear with me, y'all? Y'all look at Mark's butt up there or something while I find my glasses. I'm gonna get out of the way because I don't know where you're pointing that camera at. I don't either right this now. Isn't I'm, one, I'm this looking at my bag those, right now. This isn't one of those upskirt videos, bud. This will be on my OnlyFans page later. Hell, I don't know where my non-polarizer at. I guess I'm just gonna put the other ones on. Hard times up in here. Oh, there they are. There they are. We're professionals around here, folks. I had them in that little baggie so I'd know which is which. Oh, you need multiple glasses and bags and everything. I got one. Yeah, you see, when you're when you're a, a filming superstar like I am, you gotta learn how to do things, and I can't see the screen with polarized glasses on. Penny Walter says, YouTube on smart TV seems to buffer more than phones and tablets. That's good info. I didn't know that. Russell Smith says, when are you going to put Mark in your other kayak and take him out? I, I don't know if he could afford me. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> I've done that. Been there, done that. I like this better. Yeah, he's, he's more of a boat guy. He had a kayak for a while. His son, Ace, he had got him a, uh, what'd you give him, a Jackson uh yeah jackson cuda 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 hd yeah yeah he's been in the kayak son i enjoy the space yeah he likes the space he mark's a big truck guy too he just got him a jeep the other day but uh he'd, he'd feel funny having a, a big truck a big jeep pulling a kayak behind him <laughs> he's got to have something just as equally as big as what he's driving Oh, well. Hey, Tim Zazinki's in the house. There What's going go. on, man? Right Craig Rasnick's in the oh, house. Come on. Short Gene striking. Watkins. Tara, Tara Bia Truly in the house from Ohio. Where in Ohio? It just says Ohio. It's all the same up there. Bad fishing. That's what I hear. Yep. I lived and worked everywhere in Ohio. Zachary Blanco says, was outside. Did you catch any more fish than that one? No, Mark sucks. <laughs> so he was lucky to get that one. That, that fish was trying to let me catch it, actually. Philip H says, he pulls a kayak behind a 3,500 flatbed dually. <laughs> Bill Coulter's in the house. What's going on, Bill? Bill's another big supporter of my channel. He, he sends me money through PayPal all the time. Thank you, Bill. Bigfoot Hunter 57 says, I'm impressed with the setup, but it looks like he's standing on his head to cut bait. <laughs> you probably could raise that cutting board up a, a foot or two, Mark. I ain't telling you what to do, but... Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Now nah, we're getting... Pecker nats. Yeah. Little pecker bites. It, it was getting it was getting tapped up there. Yeah. Lord, we got 442 people watching. Golly. You believe they're watching this? <laughs> you. Grumpy old catfisherman Raby says, Justin, thanks again for helping the miles to pass. Question for you and Amari. I'm assuming a, a, probably a typo. 
I'll call you Amari the rest of the day though, Mark. Uh, <laughs> says, with November coming up on a large river system, where should I target for a trophy cat? Are you gonna answer or are you just I'm going? Think, I'm thinking, it, it, it's a good question because it can be multiples. You mm -hmm. know, um, as the water, for us, as our water drops and our water should be dropping to the winter pool here by November 15th, is that what the schedule yeah. is? Usually mid-November. Um, as that water drops, those fish will pull out into deeper water. Now, with that being said, when everything calms down and you have a nice sunny warm day, those fish will move out of that deep into the back shallows to feed on bait fish. So I usually fish uh, main channel ledges uh, in the, uh, in the cooler temperatures but our water temperature is still 70 degrees guys yeah we're still warm here we've had a october's been a warm month overall oh on average chad w mark he's got a question for you he says have you had any issues with the suzuki motor zero zero problems Joe Bradley from Harrison, Ohio says, how big is the fish you and your son are holding on your webpage, Mark? 86 pounds. That's a, that's a monster. Mark Bell says, I come to watch a bait catching video and wind up watching a catfish video. Justin, don't throw the curve, we'd all dive shock. You showed up late, Mark, we caught bait. Yeah, but when bait's easy, we go to town. I'll tell you, we, Mark, we was within the first 45 minutes or so, we had a whole cooler full of skips there. So uh, we put on a skipjack clinic this morning. So Mark had about, I don't know, two hours or so to fish and we got bait so quick. We was like, well, let's just pull some baits out of this creek. But glad to have you, Mark. Better late than never. <laughs> Pete Kramer says he got to see Mark and Ace a couple years ago in Columbus, Ohio. You got any plans to go back up there to that show, Mark? As long as the uh, fishing show this year has no restrictions, um... I'm not gonna wear a mask inside for three days at a fishing show and try to talk to people. Okay. I'm just not gonna do it. Okay. So if there's no restrictions, then yeah, we'll, we'll be up there this year. Okay. Can't hide this pretty face. That'd be, that would be a I know, crime. I mean, that, you're the star of the show. That's why I'm getting some views today. I know, that'd be a crime. Curtis Large, as he's in Wapak, Ohio, north of Dayton. Uh, put all the fiber optics into uh, Dayton International Airport. Shoot, over 20 years ago. Okay. Craig Rasnick, so he's gonna have to figure out PayPal. Thank you, Craig, I appreciate your interest in doing it. Elliot G. Fishing says, does Mark have a preferred season for fishing? Uh, right now. Spring and fall? Spring and fall. Fall's pro I like the fall better. I like the spring. Um, I think the fall is a little bit more predictable. And also I like to tell people, you look at the shoreline there, Justin, the more color that's on the leaves, the better the fishing gets. There you go. Bill Coulter's directing people to my PayPal link. I appreciate that. Man, due to the full moon and that weather last night, these fish are sitting tight. Yeah, that one that you caught had mud all over. Uh -huh. Well, they were getting bite, we're getting bit back here, but they're not committing to it. They're just, we're in the fish. Craig Rasnick says, Justin, how big is the state record skipjack? The one you called a couple of videos ago had to be close. It's actually a little over four pounds and one of my friends caught it and he actually has not only the state record, but the world record. Uh, his name's Mark Cooper, and uh, I can't remember. It's been a few years since he caught it, but that thing was a monster skipjack. And uh, headpiece. Uh oh, Mark's about to get him one right there. That's the head. Oh, I wish that thing would just double I over. Know. I'd like to see you actually be able to reel in a fish for once, Mark. Uh, I'm with you. Let's 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 flip the script on your on your audience here. If you're on a, a guided fishing trip and you know the guy gives you an option, you know, I know there's fish here. We know we're getting hit. Fish in the area, would you rather continue to fish and be patient or would you rather see that guide 
reel everything up and go to a different part of the lake and try again? Would you leave fish to find fish? That's, that's the audience question right there. We'll ask them. That's, you can't ask me that question, Mark, because you and I fish differently. Yes. I'd be out here at the mouth of this creek right on the edge of the brake line suspended. For four hours. For four or five hours. I'd wait on them to move into this creek. Right. And that's where me and Mark are, are vastly different in our approach. Both have a lot of success, but it's just a matter of doing what you love to do. <clears throat> Justin Statham says, is there a limit to the number of skipjack you can have in your possession? It's a hundred per person per day. And I think possessions 200 Mark. I don't know. I, I, I think maybe that's probably for bait dealers and stuff as yeah, far as the possession yeah. goes. I would stick with the 100 per yeah, person per day. Yeah, that's safer. I never catch 100 anyway. I'm, I'm tired of catching them by the time I get that many. Paul Rangier said, Justin, the smack talk needs to start if you don't see something. I, I'm trying to give him a break there because I've run him in the ground all morning out here, Paul. I feel I, I've... I've lowered his self-esteem out here this morning already. Ah, you can't lower something I don't have. <laughs> Most of these people saying uh, they would trust the guide here. They'd wait. Kayak Fishing Oregon, so this is his first live stream. He's up early up there this morning. They're three hours behind me. I'm going to uh, get up there to Oregon again at some point. That's beautiful country up there. I want to catch some of them sturgeon y'all got. Timothy Bright's helping me out. He's rolling this stream at his job there. Got the co-workers listening in. Glad right. to have you, buddy. Roman Marani says, Justin, if the, you catch a 42-pound channel cat and break the Tennessee state record, will you still hate them? Yeah, I will. I hate them damn channel cats. I don't know. If God, I've never caught anything over like a four-pound channel cat. I've never seen a big one out here. Yeah, I don't catch any big ones. No, uh-uh. I got uh, Melton Hill. I've got some in that eight, ten pound range because it's a lot of channel cats there. But even there, we don't get. Oh, Mark, Mark, right there. Oh, there we go. You standing right there beside it, didn't even see it. Ah, right, circle hooks. You don't need to worry about it. Well, David said, "Absolutely move. We wasn't getting hit enough." <laughs> Bad timing on that comment there. Tim Zazemski says the boat needs a kayak catfish sticker. I know he's advertising for all these companies here. Don't pay him a damn dime. But he don't advertise for me. And I'm getting him tens of dollars in future guide trips here today. Sandra Hillary says patience is a virtue. Mark's not what I would call virtuous. Although I've called him a bunch of things today. We're talking about virtuous and chase. <laughs> I'll ask your wife, see what she thinks of you. <laughs> Might get the honest truth then. Well, her and you think alike. <laughs> <laughs> if you actually made, I heard if you actually made some money, she'd probably divorce you, but you don't make enough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, I'm not dumb. <laughs> He's ugly, but he ain't dumb, folks. I can't call that one a fun sizer, Mark. Nope. That's 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 a dink right there. Yep. Good fight though, but muddy. Still muddy. They're yeah, stuck they, down. That last one had mud all over him too. They've been hunkered down. Mark, we got 443 people watching. Before you throw that next bait out, you want to show off your rigs and show tell how you do things. You sure? Oh, hold on, Mark. Hold on. You got you might have another one right there getting. You, you got another one. You got another one on there. That's a fun size, I think. Mark's asking if I'm sure, because he uses nope. them demon dragons, and I don't, I think they're silly. He's got a reason why he uses them versus a peg float. You got anything on there? You no, just really I, but I got to check it now. It's Only that, so. It's that headpiece. I was going, oh, you ain't got it pulled. I was going to try to show the. Right. Navionics here on the graph. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can switch. We can switch. I was going to say my screen, it's probably going to be a 
a glare here. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera. Yeah, I can't, I can't see that very well on there. I was going to kind of show you here on the graph, but I can't. I got a glare from what I can see. So, all right. Let me put this on this rod that you don't use. Jason so. Smith said there's big moves in the stock market today. You're losing all your money today, Mark. All yeah. right, here's Mark's rig, y'all, for dragging. Three-way swivel, quick snap, so I can change my weight anytime I want. I use drifting sticks for uh, the dragging weight. I use a different weight if I'm an anchor on a vertical drift. Uh, leader, I don't know, what is that? 36 inches or 24 inches? I don't know. Thereabouts. Yep to a float. It can be anything you want. I use Demon Dragons. The reason that I use Demon Dragons um, is because of the, uh, the hard plastic and them being able to withstand hitting the rocks and the trees and this and that. I've used peg floats in the past and they work just fine, but they also, I don't care what the color is. Color does not make a difference if, when you're in this water. It's that noise. It's that rattle. It's that wounded bait fish because catfish are predatory they come after it then a very short leader to a snail knotted circle hook what size hook do you use i use an eight dot okay and depending on your well, you're in the sun i don't know depending on um your uh <laughs> manufacturer of a hook yeah that's, that's such a variance in hook sizes but that's his dragon rig, y'all. And uh, again, we've got two off the back and then two off to the sides with planer boards. And that's that's his setup that you're running most of the time, ain't it, Mark? Yes. Yep. Again, like Justin says, it's um, what works and what you're confident in. And uh, this has done served me very, very well. Chunky Cats says he loves them dragons. Yeah, Chunky Cats has got some interesting rigs. He, he's a, uh, another YouTuber, got an awesome live stream show, and he's got some bright colored fancy rigs. He's got his setup looking good up there, man. When Chunky's fishing, you know it. You can see him from outer space out there. <laughs> okay, Mark, here's another question for you. Uh, Catfish Club member Russell Smith says does mark have any crazy catches like you had a few years back with the spoonbill i think mark's got a real good story about a spoonbill just the other few weeks ago uh yeah uh we were um summertime summertime catfish is uh usually um shallow mud flats we do a lot of shallow mud flat fishing uh, uh dragging and stuff but um because the circle hooks and the way these are designed circle hooks hit something or grab something, and that snell knot is what triggers that circle hook to grab, right? So we were dragging baits just like this, went over a spoonbill, or, or, um, and I must have just hit him just right because he shot that bill to the side and our circle hook wrapped right in the bill. 50, <laughs> 50 pound spoonbill, boy, I'd never, striper, 80, 100 pound catfish, never seen something strip drag like that. That thing just took off. Yeah, I'd seen pictures of that there on Mark's Facebook there. It was, it was a heck of a fish. Lord, Aaron Goldsby says he's getting him some demon drag. You out here selling stuff on my channel, Mark, they ain't making me a dime. Get them from Catfish Sumo, Aaron Goldsby. Catfishsumo.com, code word kayak, 10% off your order. <laughs> I'm also going in the opposite direction. I normally like to drag too. Mm. The wind's coming at us this way. I like to. I always like to go into the current. The current's coming this way. Okay. So when we came out, we're going back into the wind, which helps control the boat. But I always like to drag into the current, guys. So Philip H. He's the only person on this channel that likes you, Mark. Uh, he says, "Well, those demon dragon float baits. I was having problems with not enough buoyancy." Yes. They'll float a, uh, a good size half, half a skipjack. You know, your, your eight to 10 ounce skipjack, it'll, it'll float that. Okay. I'm sorry, eight to 10 inch, inch skipjack. Yeah. 
Anthony626 says, what brand circle hooks do you use? I, I, am I allowed to say the brand? I mean, I guess it, it'd <laughs> help if you'd use something that I have an affiliate link with. But God, that'd be too much to ask. Well, you're it? not sharing with me, so. I don't share, I'm stingy, <laughs> you know me. Um, actually, I use uh, ADOT Whisker Seeker, Whisker Seeker Triple Threat Hooks. Okay, well I know they ain't giving me no affiliate link. Guys, I'll be honest with you, I don't have a lot of, I, I buy my own gear, guys. Yeah, he's. I buy my gear. I'm, I, I, I'm not famous like Justin here. Uh -huh. I have to buy my own gear and, and do my own things. It's, yeah. I got 441 people watching, so I bet three of them will probably follow you on Facebook after this. Hey, that's three more than I had before, bud. I bet you're gonna get three new people today. Oh, we got another boat over there on that point right there. Way out here causing a big scene. I've never done good on sitting there before. I've sat there for a long time before. I, it's hit or miss for me. I've, I've fished it and done well, and I've fished it and gotten skunked. It's a 50-50 proposition. They're either there or they ain't. I've dragged that creek before too and, and had the same situation. You either catch some really good fish or don't get diddly poo. Hey, I got a new Catfish Club member. Sean Minger just signed up. Thank you, Sean. And you wouldn't have gotten that sign up if I wasn't here. I'd have had 10 more people signing up. <laughs> he signed up just so I'd quit talking to you and talk to him. Oh. Uh, is that how that is? That's how that is. Thank you so much there, Sean. I appreciate you. And for those of you that have signed up today, be sure to go to my community tab on YouTube. There's a members only post that's got some discount codes for you all. Catfish Sumo gives 10% off to my entire audience, but 15% off to my channel members. And then there's also a 10% off merchandise code on there too. So uh, be sure to check that out to the new members there. Uh, Brian Ray said he just followed your Facebook page. Oh, look at that. Like, I, I mean, it, was, it was out of mercy. It was out I of know. pity. I appreciate that. Hey, I, <laughs> I'll take anything I can get, bud. A mercy killing or not, it don't bother me none. Eric Romine's in the house. MLF guys are on Fort Loudon, so you might see some rapid bass boat professionals out there. Uh, don't get started on bass boats, yeah, guys. Yeah, we don't like a bass boat. I ain't, knock on wood, we, it really hasn't been bad this morning to be a Friday morning. Hey, Fishing with Big Mike says, what's his channel name, Justin? Are you still... This is wild fishing charters. Are you gonna start putting out some more videos in the spring, probably? Ain't you? Yes. you talked about it. Yeah, we talked about it, and and you know, for giving you, you know, helping you out. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do some more collaboration if you're lucky. Yeah, if yeah, if if you're lucky, I'll do this again with you, Mark. Uh huh. Now, Mark had a channel. I was getting going, but you know, he's real busy with the guide service. He's got his martial arts school, and now he's been going through a move at his house. So you know, there's only so many hours in a day, and I set the bar pretty high for him on the YouTube, so. And I got to cater to Justin. He's got to cater to me. He's got to be available for me at my beck and call whenever I pick up the phone. I Romine's mean, that's the only reason, Concord, Rample, that's sport. the only reason he got on bait the other day. I'm just saying. That's the truth. Mark told me exactly where they were at and wore them out. And then we come back out here this morning and wore them out again. Douglas Fletcher says he don't have sponsors, but Mark has royalties in the Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see some of them royalties. <laughs> I would like to see some of those royalties. Oh, who's your yak cast? Does he just subscribe to your channel? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Old Kayak Mike, I fished with him there last week or is it last week or week before? Oh, my days run together. The videos just come out this week. But uh, he's added like 500 subscribers after fishing with me. <clears throat> Mr. Toad says, such a common scene on the river, putting me to sleep. Basically, Mark, you put everybody to sleep because you're boring. Yep. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> One APP Pro says, Justin, start your own catfishing guide service. I... I ain't got no interest in it, buddy. I appreciate it, but I ain't something I'd have an interest in doing. I'm too selfish. I like to reel in my own fish. You guys need to keep blowing them up, man. If you want to go fishing with Justin, tell him, get on the boat with me. There you go. Here's another question for you, Mark. It says, uh, Tennessee Fun Outdoors S says, where is his jujitsu school located? You might get some new clients in the jiu-jitsu school today. Uh, it's in um, Farragut, Tennessee, on the west end of Knoxville. 
It's uh, called uh, rbkama.com uh, is the school. And then my, um, my program name is Rock Solid Jiu Jitsu, which we are on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, Mark, behind you, right? Is that a snag or is that That's a fish? That's a snag. Okay. That's what those drifting sticks do, bounce over that cover for us. Now, next thing you're gonna see is that thing just double over with a another snag. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got NC Catfish Hunters in the house. $20 donation, thank you NC Catfish Hunters. It says, love the vids, man. Wanted to thank you, Justin. I've got the chance to catch some big fish last two years. Biggest was a 45 pound flathead. That's a huge flathead. I feel like I wouldn't have got on those fish without your videos. Good luck out there today. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate you watching and thank you for that donation. That's hey, awesome, man. If you watch a real fisherman, you might be able to catch bigger fish though. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in to Mark here. He, he catches them bigger than I do. There's a lot of people out there catching them bigger than I do. That's what another YouTuber was saying about me the other day. <laughs> Epic Catfish says, when you become a guide, you do all the work and get only about 10% of the fun. <laughs> Mark will back that up. Yeah. Today, it's only 5% of the fun. <laughs> Justin sucks that extra 5% out. I <laughs> try. Carl Andrews is enjoying the show from Six Mile, South Carolina. Glad to have you, buddy. Roman, Roman, I'm probably saying your last name wrong, and I apologize. He said he was a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu before he got old and stopped training. Well, Every, Mark here is proof that people that are elderly can still train because exactly. he's still doing it. Exactly, guys. I'm I'm old, guys. Well. Zachary Blanco says, my girl says, Mark sounds like me. I don't know if she's complimenting you or <laughs> insulting you there, Zachary. <laughs> well, well, what about me? Linda Cox says, I need to get a bigger kayak to do a charter service. I don't know about that. I, I don't know. He's in his bigger kayak. I'm in the bigger one today, I guess. We can call this a kayak. Tara Bia truly says that we're hilarious. Hey, Timothy said he got one of his coworkers to subscribe. That's awesome. Oh, Thank that's you. awesome, guys. Thank you. Hey, Mark, here we go. Uh-oh. ML Loy, one of your regular clients, $4.99, says our two favorite fishermen, Will and I, thank you fellas, are great. Oh, there you go. We know you guys. You guys are great, too. Thank you. Thank you so much for that super chat there. I appreciate that. They fished with Mark a few times now. <clears throat> Yeah, they'll come back for Striper, I think, in the spring. Yeah, that'd be a good trip. They'll have a good time. Juan Miguel just woke up. So from a late night on the bank, going back to now. Well, good luck, buddy. How do you like that full moon, bud? Yeah, full moon, buddy. Gets it done every time. <laughs> Shannon Vaughn, so he just subscribed to your YouTube channel, Mark. There's you another one. I better put out a video here soon. You share one with me I can put on my, my channel? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Jesse Tenorio says, Justin, how do I get on your Facebook community page? Uh, I don't have a Facebook group or anything. I got a business page on there. That's the only thing I post to. I assume that's probably what you're talking about. Missy Kennedy. Yeah, I'm in a boat today, Missy. I'm out here with my buddy Mark from Deuces Wild Fishing. Craig Rasnick says, Justin, I think I figured out the PayPal deal. If not, I sent money to someone else. <laughs> well, thank you, Craig. Thank you for me. And if somebody else got it, thank you. Thank you for them. <laughs> the boy Teasy says he remembers when I still had 10,000 subscribers. That's been a few years. You've been with me a long time. I mean, you can have more than 10,000? I got I got about ten thousand that actually watch. Maybe less compared from looking at yesterday's videos view counts. That was a bomb. I ain't posted no more ultralight videos this year. I well, now you got ten thousand and one after they got me. That's right. <laughs> Tennessee Fun Outdoors, so he just received a, a grand from some guy named Craig. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, here's another big one, Mark. Uh oh. Sean Minger. 
hundred dollars. Thank you yeah, so much, Sean. That's awesome. It says lifelong cat fisherman here. Love the morning live streams. Helps me relax after a long night at work. Love watching you catch the big ones as the ones here in Ohio are puny in comparison. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you for the donation and thank you for watching, man. I'm really glad you all like these live streams. I mean, thank you again, Sean, for that. But my entire audience here on the live streams have been so awesome to to interact with. You know, that's the thing that the bigger you get on YouTube, the more content you put out, the less time you have to interact in the comment boxes on regular videos. And so these live streams give me the opportunity, and other YouTubers too, the opportunity to interact with your audience, get to know people. And so I'm really glad that they're, that they're enjoyable for you all to watch, and, and I'm glad that they're profitable for me too. You know, these uh, you know live streams, if I'm filming a live stream, obviously I can't film a regular video out here today, so... It's, it's nice to be able to do this and, and still be able to earn a few dollars too while I'm doing it. So thank you all so much. <clears throat> ML Lois has wanted to send more than five, but can't figure out how to do it. I struggle with that too. I tried donating uh, a while back to Palmetto Cats live stream and I had a hard time with it too. I don't know if it's a difference in phone and computer or what. Cage catfish and says, checking in. How many fun sizes are so far? We got two cats. We got about 25, 30 skipjack and then started pulling out of the creek. We're out here in the main channel now and got two cats so far. Craig Rasnick said he'd sign up if he could figure out the computer. Leighton Howard, he's a catfish club member, Mark. He said he's subscribing after this stream. Wants you to put out more videos. I listen. Not a problem. Listen, Leighton, I want Mark to do a lot of things. I can't get him to do nothing. Hey, well. I'm wanting him to put me on a fish today. I can't get him to do that either. Did you look in your cooler? That's a different kind of fish. We ain't hey, talking about fish them. fish. Is it swimming in the water? Not anymore. It's in the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael Barron in the house. What's going on, Michael? Douglas Fletcher says we need to do a live cross-country comedy fishing tour. I'm in. I'm in. I'm up for it too. If I can get Mark to drive me around and chauffeur me. We had talked about uh, him and I maybe going down to Florida on the saltwater and stuff. And because he, Mark here is a licensed Coast Guard captain. He's got the guide license. He's insured. You know, he, he's jumped through all the paperwork hoops. And so we thought about like offering it up, like, go down to Florida, do some saltwater fishing and stuff, and then he could be running trips down there while we're on there and, you know, like book it up in advance and stuff. Like, I don't know if people have any interest in it, but uh, just, you know, come fishing with me and Mark, you know, somewhere exotic like that. Something we've been, we've kicked the ball around on it a little bit. Art Vance says, send Sean a moon pie. <laughs> I got one in my bag up there right now. What's, your, what, what's okay, what's, what's your favorite flavor of moon pie? Original, original chocolate. Original chocolate? Yeah. I like them all, but I like that original, original chocolate. Original, yeah. Brady6141, I'm surprised I made it. It's my birthday today. Well, you know what? Happy birthday, Brady. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Eric Roma is still in. Eric Roma, it's a Friday, Eric. You need to be working today. <laughs> you watching me. Yeah, look, I'm working hard. You work, you doing something yeah. up there, all right. Got this guy in the boat, got a caterer. Brian get... Race says, we have hickory shad here and they look just like skipjack. I wonder if they're related or the same fish with a different name. I believe it's a different species. Is that correct, Mark? I believe you're correct. They look almost identical. Yes, but I think they're different. Some of these things are not like the other. Epic Catfish says, I love doing live shows. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, Epic does a lot of live streams too and catches, catches some big ones, unlike Mark here. <laughs> You're scroll. changing my tens of dollars into ones of dollars. I'm trying, man. I gotta be the star of this show, Mark. I can't take your thunder, buddy. I know. 
I can't, I can't handle that. Hey, ML Lloyd, join the Catfish Club. We got a new member, y'all. See, Mark, if you had a club, her and Will would join your club too, but you don't. You ain't cool like me. <laughs> I can't handle that kind of pressure right there. I got <laughs> enough pressure right here. Juan Miguel says, hey, Justin, is skipjack a type of tuna? Uh, different different species. There's saltwater skipjack, and then we got skipjack herring here in the Tennessee River. There's Paul sending good luck to beat Bama this week. We're going to need it. Man, we're going to try and go in front of this creek right here, Justin. I think we might call it a day. Well, I know Mark's got stuff to do. I'm going to, I'm going to knock out some stuff at the house. I may go back out this evening and possibly fish. And uh, see, I got a bass tournament tomorrow, so I can't be out too terribly late. But uh, I may go back out this afternoon. I got all this fresh bait here. Joe Bradley said, Mark, if I gave you a hat, he'd, you'd put me on some giants. Is that all it takes, you getting a hat? It's, it's possible. You know, I'm, I'm keeping the good spots to myself. You'd look good in one of my hats, I'll tell you that. You couldn't look any worse. I would make your hat look good. Well, I think my hat would make you look good is a better way to word it. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Fletcher says, Bass Pro knows what they're doing, putting those moon piles at the checkout counters. Boy, they do. <laughs> That's a convenience buy right there. You know, my wife brought me home some salted caramel moon pies the other day. I didn't know they had such a thing. Yep, salted caramel. She good. get that at the Moon Pie General Store? Oh, uh, what were we, Ingles or something? Is it a seasonal thing, I guess? I don't know. At least it wasn't pumpkin spice. Yeah, it's that time of year. Yep. Hey, I got another new member. I got two new me members. I got Small Engine Fanatics and John Boat Morava. Thank you both for joining the club. I'm glad to have you. Some friends of mine out in Iowa, they have a John Boat Mafia club. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you. Thank you for joining. And again, check out that community tab on my YouTube account there. That's got a members only post with some discount codes for you. And I'm hopefully going to be adding some more. If Mark was worth a damn, he'd give me a discount code for my members here. But He's cheap, needs every penny. Well, you ain't you ain't sharing any of your money with me. I gotta put gas in the boat. What is it now? Eight dollars a gallon or well, something like that in Tennessee? I hope it goes up to eight dollars a gallon. I'll give it to some of you boaters out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm running you over next time I see you. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I'm just I'm I'm vegged out here on Mark's got these couches here on his boats there for those of you just tuning in. We come out here and got skipjack we was going to just fish for a couple hours catching bait but we got them so quick mark's like i got the catfish rods let's just pull some baits and the audience wanted it so we started dragging baits out of that creek up there that's where we was getting the skips and we've come out here to the main channel on fort loud and we've picked up two fish we got a fun sizer and a smaller blue you got another one on there marker yeah mark's got him another one here on the planer board rod This, Mark, you need to thank me today for letting you reel in these fish. I'm operating the camera. Mark's fishing guide. He's always letting other people reel in the fish. He never gets to do it himself. This guy's swimming at the boat. I can't get the pressure on him. Well, you need there some of them reels like I got. It's got 48 there inches of handle is. turn. There he is. There he is. He finally decided he was hooked. I got Bill Coulter in the Catfish Club too. Bill's another longtime supporter. Thank you so much, Bill. Glad to have you. Oh, there's ML Lloyd back, 1999. Says, thanks Leonard Vaughn, it worked. Leonard, Leonard helped her figure out how to send bigger super chats. I need to be the one that's thanking Leonard there. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. You guys are great, man. Coming out here 8.30 in the morning on a on a Friday morning weekday, and y'all have just been so awesome to me. I'm so grateful for you. Mark's got him another. Here, let me stand. Let me get off the couch here and actually is it, stand it's up. It's not too much for you to stand up, is it? Well, you know, you, you've you made me face the camera into the sun here, Mark. Well, that's I, look, that's filming look, 101. Look, look, come on, we'll take this thing all the way up front well, and look, make, make it easier hold on Hold on, let me, let me get, yeah. Yeah, we can film so much better now when I'm not facing I want to make this directly easy. into the sun. There's no shadows. 
Let me give you some YouTube pro tips there, Mark. Well, let me call them pro then. Yeah, yeah, you have to find you a pro with <laughs> some real pro tips. If I was a better friend, I'd you. net that fish for you. But I'll I tell you what, we didn't bring a net. We we're supposed to be bait fish fishing. I'm bringing that. Well, that's true. It's a little bit better fish. Yeah, that was on a planer board rod right there. Yep. Mark runs these planers when he's dragging to get a little distance between baits and cover more water. That's real helpful when he's in these creek channels and when he's up on the flats. When these fish get up on the flats, they could be anywhere up there. So the bigger the spread, the more likely you are. Let me get over here, Mark. Nobody wants to see you bent over. They don't want to see what you do in your home life. It's my only fans page. <laughs> I'm about to lose your... Is that a fake leather jacket you got on? Yep. You look like Fonzie right now. All right, look, jacket. you know, i tell you what. You, you made me go up here. I there know. You going to get a hold of that fish or not? With no glove. Wait. With no glove. Well, a real man don't wear gloves. Yep. See, I can't see now. Well, while you're fooling around not unhooking that fish, Leonard Vaughn's give me $5 here. Thank, Thank you, Leonard. He says, ML Lawyer, welcome. Good morning, Justin and Mark. Hope y'all have a good one out there this morning. Thank you, Leonard. I appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate the super chat. and I'm glad you could see Mark finally catch a fish here. He's ate, That fish has got that thing deep. There he goes. Yeah, that ain't a, that's a... That's a little bit better. Lar there. Larger dink, smaller yeah. fun size. Nice. Not bad for an is impromptu. This, is this your jacket? Yeah, yeah, just drip it all over there. Make sure to get some blood and slime on my clothes there. I got to, I might as well sell some merch here while I'm at it too. <laughs> kayak catfish shirts, what I was wearing until it got hot there. Shop kayakcatfish.com. My members got a 10% off discount code. It would be too much to ask if you hand me that rod. It would be actually. Can you can you do anything for yourself here, Mark? My no. gosh. I got the hook now here in your in your couch. You better sit down. That was a lot of work right that there. That was a lot of work. I am gonna I am gonna sit back here on these comfortable couches here while you get everything set back out. Hey Mark, here's one for you. T Cliff sixteen seventy says what are the fastest speed you drag baits uh usually no more than 0.6 but i'm a fan of uh 0.3 to 0.5 pretty much all times of the year okay michael barron says i always wear a glove love my finger yeah i wear a glove too Gosh. mark's a man's man he don't wear no gloves no glove no love he normally nets his fish though so that's that's uh, I won't talk about them people that net fish. <laughs> I weigh my fish too. You're gonna talk about that? Yeah, he does. He's a penis measure, <laughs> fish weigher. Hey, here's Marvis Mangum. Mar I've done said your name wrong there, Mark. Marvin Mangum. I'll get it out directly. <laughs> Ten dollars. Thank you, Marvin. Says I'm late. Where y'all at? Show me the setup. So Marvin, we're on Fort Loudon Reservoir today. We started out skipjack fishing. We were throwing these uh, spoons and throwing some jigs. I had, we caught a few on the spoon and a few on some uh, Bipper Baits Marabou jigs there. And uh, we loaded up. We got a whole cooler full of skipjack within the first hour of being live. We got a whole bunch of them there. So the first part of this live stream, for those of you tuned in late, go back and watch it. It was action packed. And so we were going to fish a couple hours. Mark's got some stuff to do. He's having a, uh, this guy at a new house. He's got contractors over there and stuff. And so we were going to fish a couple go. hours, but we got bait so fast. We were just like, well, let's just pull some baits out of there. We pulled the audience. And so they wanted us to pull out. So we fished a creek up here off the channel where we got the skipjack. We, we trolled out and now we're on the main channel here. And we've got three blues just messing around out here since we uh, since we got done catching bait. So we've had a good morning out here. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you again for that super chat there, Marvin. Craig Graznick says he watches all the videos and enjoys them. Thank you, Craig. And thank you for your donation earlier too. Come on, he can't enjoy all of them. All of them, Mark. Some of these people actually like me. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't understand it either. Even 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 my own friends don't like me in no. real life, but these people do. 
Look, I don't have any enemies because I got this guy as a friend. <laughs> With a friend like me, you don't need enemies, Mark. I know. Hey, here's another one, y'all. Curtis Large, four ninety nine. He's a Catfish Club member. Thank you, Curtis. He says, hey, Justin, if I booked a trip with Mark in the spring, could I get you on the boat? I possibly, you know, I'm, I'm high priced there, Curtis. I'm high priced. I don't know. When I go fishing, I pretty much got to be filming. I went out the other day uh, with those people who had sponsored a video, uh, which will be coming up here on my channel, but uh, it kind of depends. I don't know with the timing and all with what I got going on. Once we get into spring, I got to be really cranking out the content again. So I don't know if I can't, I can't commit to it. But I certainly appreciate your donation and I appreciate your interest. <clears throat> Douglas Fletcher says, the way you guys are bickering, waiting on one of you to push the other in the water. Ah. I don't know if I could get leverage on him. Again, he's a, he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He ain't somebody I'd be messing with. He's my bodyguard out here. Yep. It's the only reason I'm out here to, to guard that body. <laughs> well, it's an awesome body to guard. Okay, here's a good question for you, Mark. Uh, Timothy Bright says, to maintain that drift speed, do you use a sock or rely on the trolling motor? I guess uh, exclusively. Yeah, that's, that's why I like to troll into the current. It holds the boat straight and it makes it a lot easier to use the trolling motor to maintain that speed. Of course, we use the Minn Kota Tarovas. Is, that, is yours a Trova? Or I've got you? a motor guide now. Oh, you motor guide. Mm -hmm. um, they have, um, for lack of a better term, they have cruise control. Yeah. So I, I use, I, I set it for 0.3 to 0.5, depending on where I am, into the current along that deep channel, main, main creek channel ledge, and it holds my speed for me really well. And today we're going with the current, but that's only cause there's a wind blowing upstream. So it just kind of helps and keep the boat straight going into the wind. And honestly, we didn't come out here to catfish. We just left the left yeah. the creek and headed back towards the boat ramp. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> it wasn't a catfishing trip. We, we are going to do a live stream catfishing trip uh, yeah. in the near future, like within, what, a week or so, you think? Whenever you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, this fall and winter, I'm pretty much available whenever because I'm not, I'm not maintaining my, my regular video production schedule at this point, just not not enough views, not worthwhile. So I'm going to focus more on the live streams and just yeah, so one video a week or so. We're definitely going to do that. So and, uh, I got a lot more time since and, I ain't editing. And we'll do a lot, there'll be a lot more rods. We'll have six rods out, whether they be vertical drifting some and just a multitude of techniques. Today we ran out of time. We were actually considering um, um, free lighting a live skipjack for maybe a stripe or something today, but we can't run three miles down the river while we're live streaming. Well, we could. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can keep this thing hear. going. <laughs> yeah, we'd hear it on the microphones. Hey, speaking of microphones, I got 442 people watching right now. Let me poll the audience again, because this is something I'm curious on. So today we've run two microphones, one on me and one on Mark. Give me some feedback, y'all. Have you all been able to hear me and him equally well? How has that went? Have we talked over each other? Has it come up? This is my first time ever doing this setup, and I'm, I'm genuinely curious as to how it's working out. Marvin says we sound good. Okay, that's good to know. Not too much. Michael Barron says here's both of us perfect. Josh Wagner, Jason Smith says it sounds great. All right, all right everybody, everybody seems to be in consensus here that it's... Uh, that it's went well, so. Other than just having Mark being the one that the person, that the microphone's clipped to, the setup itself seems to be working pretty good. You find someone else that was put up with you this long. Well, I'll, I'll find somebody, but I got, I got 435 people in here that wants to, Mark. Oh. <laughs> good luck to y'all. You don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> they may think twice after they spend a day with me. <laughs> All right, everybody's saying thank you all. I appreciate the feedback on that, y'all. I appreciate that. I was, I was genuinely concerned and worried about how it would go today with the two microphones, but uh, I'm glad it's worked out. For those of you that watched my live stream the other night, I was on the, this regular phone microphone. I'd lost my transmitter, and thankfully, it fell off in the car. It was between my car seat and the door when I got back to the launch, so I just knew I had made a... $300 mistake out there on that creek bank when I'd first tried to set up. 
but thankfully I ended up finding it. So all was well in the end, but I was, I was definitely sweating it there. Craig Grasnick says, what you call ultralight fishing was just fishing when was a younger feller. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love doing that ultralight fishing. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. I just, this time of year, it's a lot of fun too because you get such a variety out there. But unfortunately, the views decline, so I can't, I can't be posting those ultralight videos too much. That one yesterday bombed. The one earlier in the week bombed too. So I'm going to focus more on my regular edited videos the rest of the year up until spring will just be catfish videos. I may do some ultralight live streams or something, but um, my just edited regular videos will be catfish till, till spring. <clears throat> Boss, I'm going to give this just a little bit longer. Uh, somebody, I missed a comment there. It disappeared. I guess it got attracted. <laughs> but yeah, everybody says we sound great today, so that microphone makes you sound better than you've ever sounded in your life before, Mark. I don't know about that. This is a life, ain't it, though, Mark? Just kick back on these couches. I don't know. I've never, Rods sat, on, out. I've never sat on one before. You're working the whole time. You're working, got nature. Buddy. I'm working. You got all this nice area here to, to hang out, and you can't even enjoy it. Nope. And then when I, if I have a chance to get my family out here, they lay on the damn couches too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to be a gangbuster day. I think it's going to be work for your fish today. Well, I mean, you know, to to have a bait fishing trip, I mean, we've only had baits. We've only had catfish baits in the water, what, an hour maybe yeah, at the maybe. most, and we've got three. So I think that's pretty good. Sandra says, Justin, can you try fishing for bait fish too? I, we probably could. I haven't seen anything busting out here in the main channel, Sandra. They were, the, the creek back there was full of them, but I ain't really seen nothing out here on the main channel. So, and I got a whole cooler full at this point, so I don't really need any more. I'm gonna put those in the freezer that I got today. Hey, here's Marvin back with another $10. Thank you, Marvin. He said, did you ever find your transmitter or did you have to buy another one? Why don't you all call it a day and go drift this evening when you done the live stream at night the other day? Thank you, Marvin. Yeah, I was just talking about that a little while ago. I, my transmitter, it was in my car, thankfully. It was down between the car seat and the door. So I must have just knocked it off my, my mount there when I got out. So thankfully it was there. It would have been a, an expensive mistake. But yeah, Marvin, I may go out this evening. I probably won't go live. I may... If I do go, I may just try to film a regular video. I don't have any any videos filmed for next week at this point. So uh, I may, I've kind of slacked off on, on doing the regular edited video since views have dropped. I'm just gonna focus on live streams and maybe one video a week here and there until spring and then I'll, I'll ramp it back up again. Russell Smith says, don't, don't ever put the mic on Eric. That's the truth. <laughs> I'd be cancel cultured for sure. <clears throat> Kenny Cook says, love the way you pick at your buddies and handle the haters. Keep up the good work. I have all my buddies watching you now. I'll keep them coming because I tell everyone about you. Well, thank you, Kenny. I appreciate the advertisement there, man. I appreciate all of you watching today. We're, we still got 405 people watching here at 11 o'clock in the morning. Y'all have loaded me up today. I really didn't know what to expect with this. Um, I did the ultralight live stream back a couple weeks ago where I had this, this camera on my chest where I could see the comments while I cast. And so today it was, you know, kind of still, still getting the system dialed in with it, but I think it's went pretty well. So. I enjoyed it out here today. I almost went this well because I'm here. You th you're taking all the credit. I'm taking you? all the credit. I got to take something. I'm not taking any of the money. You ain't taking a dime of the money. <laughs> you ain't taking a dime of it, buddy. Sandra Hillary says, love watching you catching the skipjack and catching two at a time. 
I yeah, I'll tell you what, Sandra, they were in there so thick today. I bet if, if we had been running five jigs, we'd have got five bites on them. What do you yeah. think, Mark? I, I, we wouldn't I, have landed them all, but no. we'd I, have hooked them. I don't think I've ever caught that many doubles. I think we both had yeah. what, three or four doubles today. It was great. Makes it makes it bait fishing quote quick. Daniel Smith says, how many rods are you using? We got three out right now. We was running four. Mark just reeled in a fish and he just went ahead and put the rod up because we're getting ready to leave here in just a few minutes. We're just, uh, Mark's got some stuff to do today. He just invited me out here on his boat to catch some bait this morning. He was getting getting some fresh bait for his guide trips that he's got coming up. And But this is just a taste. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get together and do a real long live stream with you guys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some some catfishing in a place you know he'd normally be setting up to do it and uh, running a trip and we'll do that here in the next week or two and we get our schedules worked out and get some decent weather and all. I got a trip on Monday. It's supposed to. I got a calm. It's supposed to pour. Oh really? On Monday's going bad. It's supposed to open up and pour like. Great. Yeah, thunderstorms on Monday. Morning rain, thunderstorms. I had a trip out the other day. We, we thought we missed it. Was it Friday or Saturday morning? We thought we missed the rain. Mm -hmm. Launched out. It was just misty at seven o'clock. I thought it all went through. Got set up, started fishing, and it just come down a pouring for the next hour. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Now oh, you got a canopy you put up on this thing, don't you? Only when it, I'm gonna fish in the rain for a long time. That day it was supposed to blow through, mm. so I didn't bring the canopy. <laughs> oh, yeah. How big a tip did you get that day, Mark? Uh, Not much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't control the weather. <laughs> can't control the fish. Can't control the weather. <laughs> can't control you. You definitely can't control me. Penny Walters says it's cloudy and chilly. Nothing better to do on a Friday morning. I'm glad you made me part of your day, Penny. Eric Jace is catch and cook. Cook up a skipjack sandwich on the boat. Hell, Mark eats them raw. He licked one earlier. He nasty. We'll see you later, John. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. John Boat Morava says, keep on fishing. The only thing better than fishing is more fishing. <laughs> I like catching. I like catching. Yeah, that's better than that's, that's better, than, better fishing, than fishing. The catching part. The catching part is better than fishing. Walter Pearson, he's a catfish club member, says people make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, if they want to comment on these live streams, they got to be subscribed. I ain't, I ain't doing the, the chat box where just anybody can pop in and comment anymore. We're going to keep it positive on here. <clears throat> Francis Nelson says, I like the live stream. Even if you don't catch much, just having you teaching your technical expertise, that's better. That's a better way than saying you talk talk too much because you keep us entertained <laughs> i do have a lot of people say i talk too much I, that's one of my bigger complaints i get that uh, he says it <laughs> john boat morava says he don't know much about catching so he wouldn't know <laughs> i can relate to that buddy i don't care how many i catch it ain't never enough <laughs> Well, you, you setting you setting on a job? I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna. You on 15 minute break over here? I'm gonna take my uh, scheduled union break. This ain't Amazon, buddy. <laughs> ain't no breaks around here. No, jeez, slave driver. You got that right. Hey, we'll see you later, Jesse. Thanks for stopping by today. Joshua Howell says the skipjack bite better in summer or fall. They always bite in somewhere. They just happen to be easier to catch in the fall. Let me tell you something, guys. I, I was told this by uh, an older gentleman years and years and years ago. I don't care what day it is, if you're not catching fish, they're an animal. They are feeding and eating somewhere. Just not maybe not where you're at, mm -hmm. but they are eating something that day. You can't say the fish aren't biting that day because I guarantee you, they're, fish, they're some some fish somewhere's eating that day. Every time you go to a tournament, there's going to be somebody gets skunked, and there's going to yeah. be somebody that catches the winning bag. Yep. They fish in the same conditions. Yep. Fish eat every day. Just whether you're in that area. Lisa NJ is working hard today. They're watching and listening while doing water changes on 28 fish tanks. Huh. That's an all day job yeah. right there. Justin Long says, we need a crappie fishing video. 
you know, I ain't done worth the crap on the crappie this year. I ain't, I ain't tried much for them specifically, but I ain't done worth the crap when I have. I catch them in my cast net in the spring when I'm <laughs> throwing for shad. <laughs> Accidental catches. Robbie Bergen says, what's the temp down there? It's mid fifties air temp. And what was the water temp? 70. 70, 70, 70 degrees. 71. If we keep these uh, 40 degree nights, so that this temperature, the water temp is going to drop fast. Yeah, it is. But, um, God, the, the water's back up though, dude. I'm, I'm looking at the bank, it's up. Yeah. It's up, back up the full pool, it looks yeah. like. It was down two feet the other day. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a lot of fluctuations here till yeah, I'm not they looking, get us lowered. I'm, I, it's gonna be uh... Zachary Blanco says, what's the most bait you used on one pole for catfish? I guess, probably, I rare, I've a used double jack. hook rigs before. Yeah. I use two baits, but I don't like doing that. I nah. like just one bait. Yeah, um, get a lot of tangles when I use when I use. Yeah, double hook rigs are hard, but um, there's a couple different ways to fish. Um, there's you have to look it up, and, and and I don't use it. There's there's a it's called a Kentucky rig, or um, you can call it the chicken rig or whatever, and it's just uh, multiple baits. Uh, like almost like a almost like our sabiki rigs for skipjack. There's two or three hooks, two or three baits. Um, you know, but they're all small baits. You can do something like that. You know, double hook rig with a big piece of jack is good. Uh, the biggest I do is, is the same as Justin. We we fish similar when our bait size. We're just him and I are very simple. Chunk baits on the bodies, and the big big piece of a head. That's that's about as, you know the size of your palm. Mm -hmm. That's about as big as I get. I'm same as Justin. We just chunk the bait up now if we have the big big skipjack in the, in the spring we'll chunk those up and those body sections will be as big as your hand oh yeah but i would say in general i probably am like i said again just like justin nothing bigger in my hand mm -hmm. you know that's it, it's just easier to control easier to deal with yeah um if i was in heavy current and, and i was a huge anchor fisherman and i was you know i anchored a lot i'd probably use a lot more double hook rigs and stuff mm -hmm. yeah and bigger baits Oh, I got another one here, Mark. Vizlam, eight one five twenty dollars Thank you. He says, I had to take my mom to urgent care this morning. Thanks for the laughs today and keep the jokes coming. I've enjoyed watching this morning. Keep catching them. Well, thank you for that super chat, and I hope everything's okay with your mom. I'm sorry you had to take her there. I hope everything works out. I sure appreciate that super chat. Douglas Medlin said the flathead bite was awesome the other day. Yeah, man, that was a crazy bite. That's the most flatheads I've ever caught in such a short period of time. I mean, it was just one after another after another. We sat out there a few hours, but all those fish came within about 30 minutes. It was crazy. You going to pick up all these skipjack scales you got all over my boat? No, I ain't your housekeeper, buddy. Come on, man. I ain't you cleaning this. And you need to clean this boat, Mark. It, it, looks, it looks terrible. This ain't like you. Are you okay? I apologize I didn't bring your red carpet today. <laughs> Y'all, Mark is so anal about his boat. He normally, if blood drips from bait or something, he's wiping it down with the towel as it happens. He's wiping water spots off, but he's in the process of moving. He just, he's moving into a new house and stuff, and so he's having to leave his boat sitting outside right now. And so it's getting leaves, it's getting rained on, it's driving him insane. He's such a clean freak. Justin Long says, have you ever ran any Santa Cooper rigs? That's what Mark's running right now, buddy. Modify Santa Cooper rig. That's what he's got on there. And so what he uses the drag with. Josh Howell said, I bet it's sure different on a boat than a kayak. Yeah, it is, that's for sure. <clears throat> Craig Razzing says, he don't wear a glove here in Ohio, but when I'm in Tennessee, I do. Them blues down there are mean. You know, it's funny you say that, Craig. Uh, when Kayak Mike come down there last week, he, he was from Ohio. And he said that our blues here have rougher mouths than, than the fish he has up there, too. But they, they tore him up also. You reeling in there, Mark? Ah, uh, slowly. Okay. So, honestly, what happens is I do this with clients, too. I never reel them all up at once because I've been, I slowly clean up the boat and always stay as fish as long as you can. Mm -hmm. And I've honestly caught many fish on like the last rod sitting in the, in the rod holder. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I just, I, it's hard to stop fishing for me. I hate to, I hate to stop. Well, then people putting your deck on your house today want you to stop and get up there and pay their ass. <laughs> as soon as I get some of that super chat money. <laughs> Palmetto Jinx says, hope you have a good day. Thank you, Palmetto. Penny Walter, she says, I have to admit, I did notice Mark's fascination with the towel. <laughs> He's a clean freak, y'all. Nick Langford, do you wish you had a boat? No. I like fishing out of kayak. It's fun. Walter Pearson says, any tips for people who fish from the bank this time of year? Yep. I mean, this time of year, these fish are, they're going to be start moving in to these backwater areas here soon as this bait moves in there more, so... You know, you can fish if you got some places where you can set up to where you can hit these creeks or the creek mouths, or if you get on some points where these baits were moving up on there, those are good places to set up right now. As soon as our water level gets dropped here, I'm gonna be doing some bank fishing. It's still, we're, we're in the process of dropping right now. It's kind of fluctuating, but give it another month and we'll be down several feet and all this shoreline where these people's houses are and these overgrown banks and stuff, all this will be opened up for me to be able to access for bank spots. Michael Barron said, had a good time today. I did too, Michael. Thanks for tuning in. Pete Garcia says, we need to send that moon pie down. I ain't wasting that. That's my snack on the way home. Will Loy, he says, since Captain Mark has provided the access, buy him a plate of fried pickles at the burgers joint. You ever ate at the Burgers, Mark? All the time. I but love that place. That place is the best. And I, send, I had it last night, actually. I send so many clients over there, I'm honestly going to go in and talk to them and say, hey, you know, do you have a card I can hand out to my clients? Yeah. Or, you know, because I honestly, I send, I probably send, you know, I don't know, you know, one, one group a week over there, right? Yeah. Hey, Monday through Thursday, $5 house margaritas, just saying. Okay, well, there you go, folks. Get your snoot full over there. But uh, no, the burgers, it's a, and they don't pay us or nothing, but they're just awesome. I eat there a couple times a week and, and they're here in Lenore City and man, they just, it's the best burger in town. But no, Will, I ain't buying him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't buying a hat. <laughs> yes, you will, doggo. <laughs> hey, there's Jackson back, Jack Fishing TV, $9.99. Thank you, buddy. He says, hopefully I can catch some skipjack for bait tomorrow. Your live streams are always entertaining. Well, thank you, Jackson. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in today. Fishing with Big Mike says, had to go back and watch the skipjack-a-thon y'all had earlier. Love when they bite like that. Yeah, man, we were, we were on them. They've been, they've been in that creek thick. Walter Pearson says, thanks for all the tips. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate you being a Catfish Club member. Penny says, thanks for sharing your trip out on the water. Y'all have a good rest of the day. Thank you, Penny. I hope you have a great day too. Once I get him off the boat, I'll have a great day. <laughs> Irish fishing with Steve Mosley in the house. What's going on, Steve? Stephen Long in the house. Nick Langford says, what's your favorite bait other than skipjack or shad? Mine's probably white bass. What's yours, Mark? Skipjack or shad. <laughs> That's what he likes. He said he sticks with what works. Yeah, skipjack or shad. I'm not going nowhere else. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. Mark's got the last rod up. He's got to go again. He's got some stuff going on at his house. He just got a new house. He's got some people over there building a the deck today. But he has been nice enough to bring me out here this morning and take me on his bait run. And, and for those of you who tuned in late, Go back and watch. We tore the skipjack up this morning. We each got 20, 30 something skipjack and had a blast. And then we, we trolled out of that creek pulling some baits since we had some extra time and got three, three catfish in the boat too. So it's been an awesome morning out here. And uh, let me turn the camera back around here. Uh -oh. There we are. Yeah. They don't want to see you. They want to see me. I got to, oh. I got to talk. They I got to look them in the eye when I tell them bye here, Mark. They want to see that hat. Yeah, I gotta advertise the hats some more here too. Kayak catfish hats, y'all. Catfishsumo.com. Hey, there's Callie, K&K &K Fishing Adventures. Says, looks like some fun, $25. Thank you, Callie. 
yeah, we've had a blast out here this morning. We're getting ready to take off now. Mark's got us packed up. He's got to go pay some contractors, but it's been a fun time. We've got a bunch of skipjack and uh, it's been a blast. Hopefully I ain't been too hard on Mark here. I think he'll show back up for the next one. Maybe. Maybe if I'm lucky, he says. We got Fizz Bang in the house, $20. Says, Thank you, Fizz Bang. Love your contact or content. Please give Rhonda a shout out. Absolutely, Rhonda. Thank you so much. Shout out to Rhonda. You've got a, uh, a, a fan in me, Rhonda, that's for sure. Fizz Bang's a regular viewer, always super chatting me. Y'all have been very generous with the super chats today. Thank you so much. But uh, anyway, guys, Mark's getting us packed up here. So uh, Mark, thanks for taking me and them out today. Thanks for putting us on the skipjack. And uh, I loved it, guys. This is, uh, this is a new experience for me. So uh, First time you've ever been mic'd up, ain't yeah, it? Exactly. <laughs> Thank God it didn't go bad. <laughs> Deuceswildfishingcharters.com. Yep. If you want to well. fish with him. And yep. And we do uh, just have a good time, guys. It's uh, just is what it is. What you see on, on this is the same thing you'll get when you're on the boat with me. It's, it doesn't change. So uh, yeah, he's a he's an incredible guide, folks. He's caught some big fish, and he's the only guide here in East Tennessee that I recommend. So uh, anyway, guys, again, thank you to everybody who has donated today. Thank you for watching. If you've tuned in late, go back and watch the first part of the stream. We tore up the skipjack this morning. It was a Heck of a time. We're catching one and two at a time just about every cast. So anyway, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.